Welcome back, everyone, to the Russell Do It Center countdown to kick off here at the Sportplex. Wildcats getting set to take on the Homewood Patriots here about five and a half before the kickoff. Brett Pritchard, Randy Lee, Wes Coleman up here at the Sportplex. Uh, Wildcats back in region play after a week off last week, the week prior, a big win on the road against the Calera Eagles. Got this offense going for the first time this season. This Homewood Patriot team comes in with a record of one and three, but don't let that deceive you they just won their first game last week against clear as well 43 to 21 they lost to helena vestavia hills and john carroll in a close one there to start the season but uh, a rival here between these two schools every time these two schools get together it seems to always be a good football game and that's what we expect here tonight randy as uh, both sets of teams getting set to come on the field it's about time for our coin toss but a beautiful beautiful evening for high school football you here. can't ask for better weather you can't ask for a better facility brian riddle and his entire crew and uh look out there the painting scheme and uh they really take a lot of um you know i guess pleasure too is the word that i'd use they in enjoy getting out here and they enjoy it and they do some things you know to have some fun with it uh, throughout the week and talk to brian before the game and there is not a better natural playing surface in the state of alabama no. we're so fortunate here in alexander city to have this place and uh you know, I was telling an old story, Brett, about your junior year in high school. We had we hosted a playoff game against Northview here, and uh, it was flat and looked like a pond out there. And Northview said we watered the field the night before and called us into the state, and we crowned it since then. And since then, Brett, it is just beautiful, and it's been that way uh, for well over 20 years. It has, uh, as you mentioned, just fortunate. Sometimes you don't realize until you travel around, you come back home, what you have here, and uh, it's a, a gorgeous, gorgeous facility. We brag on it. Glad it's ours, no doubt. Randy, our captain's making their way out to midfield to the freshly painted BR there at midfield, and it's time for the Scotty Gordon Cornerstone Insurance and Financial Group coin toss, auto home life and commercial true asset protection at competitive rates and the best service. Call on Scotty Gordon today, and I'll let you run down our captains here for us tonight. Number 15 out there, one of the captains, Ty Smith, senior linebacker, along with number 78, one of the captains tonight. Uh, that's Dean. He's only a ninth grader out there, an offensive lineman, going to be a real big one at some point for the Wildcat. Christopher Foster, senior wideout, had 130 yards, receptions, three touchdowns in the last game against Collier, and then three-year starter at outside linebacker, and he's been a great one since he's been here. Caden Hyde, um, he'll kind of round out those four that we've got out there as, as uh, captains. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, again, the Wildcats in their home maroon jerseys, silver pants, uh, and uh, maroon headgear. Homewood Patriots all white tonight with the Navy numerals and the white headgear with the Patriot on the side, the old school New England Patriot. There we have the coin toss, and uh, not sure who – I didn't see him pat anybody, so uh, – couldn't see. I think no, we no. No, nah, I they think won. they won the toss. Yep. So yeah, they did win the toss, and they elect oh. to take the football. So uh, Homewood will have the football to start the football game here tonight. So uh, get to see our defense on the field, Wes. Uh, yep. it's really been our uh, you know it's it's been our bell cow so far through this season. I've been proud of them. You know, eight new starters on defense, only returning three from last year. Uh, that was a point of emphasis with Coach Grider coming in as he was – he said, look, I think we're going to be good by the end of the year, but we're going to have to grow through this thing. But, man, I think they're ahead of schedule. Yeah, I do, I do too. Um, it seems like we have maybe the first drive. We'll, be get, we'll give up some, some yards. But the third you – know, the second, third quarter, I mean, we play good. It, you know, it's a different team. On that defense, that tells you you're being coached well, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, you it know does. When, when you're able to go in and make some adjustments, see where uh, you may have a flaw in the the plan that you had coming into the ball game, and then you can change it up and move them around. And look, as bad as Central Clay got there in the first half, the second half was equally as good on the defensive side. Right. Uh, played outstanding football, and uh, Central Clay hadn't had a close football game yet. They ran away from Elmore County. Uh, scored a lot of points there in the first half against them. They look to be well, one of the top teams in 5A. So that loss doesn't look anywhere near well, as bad as you thought it did. And as bad as we played in that yeah. game, we were up. You know, we kind of had the momentum in our favor, and we fumbled the punt, and it got it yeah, back. Yeah, we so, did. Sure you know, did. I felt real good about where we were going with that. So, uh, 
But nevertheless, that's in the past. We're, we're right here now focused on the Homewood Patriots. And Patriots, uh, what a great program they have uh, in Birmingham. Just a school that's very similar to ours, man, as far as numbers and, and the way things are played out. It's been a great series since the early 2000s. Uh, the first two, two years of the 2000s, these two teams met up in 5A for the championship. So uh, one going to Homewood and one going to us. And uh, some really good games since then between each other. One in a semifinal matchup, then uh, another matchup, I think, in the first or second round. So just a great, great program over there. It's always a lot of fun. It's what high school football is all about. It's yeah. homecoming here. Also at the Sportplex, a big crowd here still filing into the stadium here. And um, Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Whether it's Lake Martin, Lay Lake, or Logan Martin, boaters from all over the state of Alabama come to Alex City Marine, just off Highway 280 in Alexander City, Alabama, because it's worth the drive. With the best deals on unbeatable Suzuki outboards, Manitou and Landau Tritons, and a great pre-owned inventory while they last. Alex City Marine is the pros the locals know. And no matter where you're from, when you're here, you're local to us. Alex City Marine, just off Highway 280 in Alexander City, Alabama. AlexCityMarine.com. This is Joseph Dean with Alabama Funeral Homes. As many of you are aware, we had a fire that significantly damaged our facilities. We were in the process of getting those rebuilt. We apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused the families that we serve. I want you to know that we are capable of handling all of your needs at Frederick Dean Funeral Home of Opelika, which will be servicing Alabama Funeral Homes families. We can be reached at our same number, 256-896-4502, or by email at joseph at alabamafuneralhomes.com. Castelluccio Fine Italian Dining in downtown Alexander City is rapidly becoming the region's standard for Italian cuisine as well as hand-cut filet mignon, fresh gulf seafood, and the area's best Italian import wine selection. We offer true old-world charm with unmatched hospitality. Like Castelluccio Fine Dining on Facebook to keep up with daily lunch and dinner specials. Also new, we offer catering for your family and small business, so call and order. Castelluccio, downtown Alexander City, where the only thing that rivals the flavor is the dining experience. iFoam is independently owned and is your spray foam insulation solution for the Lake Martin area. iFoam offers the latest and greatest in air leak assessments and spray foam insulation to keep your home and office comfortable no matter the season. Foamy says call for an estimate today at 334-367-4795. That's 334-367-4795. J.A. Smith Construction is your trusted choice for construction site clearing and grading for new home construction, underground utilities and site work, concrete paving, storm drain installation, fish ponds, and slough dredging. No job is too big or too small. Call Alexander at J.A. Smith Construction at 256-896-1400 or email asmith at jasmithconstruct.com. J.A. Smith Construction, your trusted choice for construction. The Morris Haynes Law Firm focuses on representing those who have been injured or mistreated by the wrongful acts of others. We have offices in Ellick City and Birmingham, but we have been calling Ellick City home for over 30 years. If you find yourself in need of a lawyer, give us a call at Morris Haynes, 256-329-2000. We would be honored to help you. 76% of nurses say they went into the profession because they wanted to help patients. No matter the reason you decided to become a nurse, you have all the tools needed to advance your degree at Jacksonville State University. Our Master's in Nursing program is now offered fully online and can be completed in less than two years. You can customize a flexible course schedule so you can receive your advanced education degree all while working on the front line. JSU Nursing, your opportunity to advance your career and serve your community. Oofa like a Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram at 801 Columbus Parkway in Opelika. 
has a massive inventory of quality pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Every make, every model, quality pre-owned vehicles are available at Opelika Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep Ram. Located at 801 Columbus Parkway in Opelika and online at OpelikaFordChrysler.com. We will kick off. It'll be the Glenn Smith Chevrolet GMC of Opelika. Kick off, kicking right to left here. Gorgeous night at the Sportplex. Beautiful field. And going to be a great football game. Looking forward to it. Micah Murphy going to be kicking off for the Wildcats. Right to left. Two men beat back deep to receive for the Patriots. And we're about set to go here. Murphy going to approach left foot kicks and be a pooch kick. And this play is sides. blown dead. We're about three yards offside. Hey, yeah. Just poor timing over here trying to we're run a little gunner. and Right, trying uh, to get that ball. Look. Yeah. Looked like we were trying to maybe get down there and recover the kickoff. So now they'll back it up five yards, and he'll probably put a big leg into it this time. But, again, kicking right to left here, guys. Just underway. Going to do a re-kick here. Homewood coming in, as we said, one and three. Played a very good Vestavia Hills team. It just blew them out. And that's two years in a row that they've done that to this Homewood team. And Tells you the discrepancy between oh, yeah. 7A and 6A here in the state. Yeah, right. I don't think there's a better example. Homewood could have easily won the 6A state championship last year, losing to Sarah Land in overtime, had a chance to win that one. Um, many thought they did win that one if you look back at the replay. He's going to do it. And we're off sides again. This is a terrible I start. think I saw that at the at Calera, the same thing, but it, it was never just called. Just keep backing up uh, on the kickoff and trying to pooch it down here, trying yeah. to – and, you know, we're right there. I mean, they – you know, Homewood's yet to get somebody down here to really cover this thing up, and I'd be shocked if we try it for the third time. But it's not how you anticipated starting the football game. We try to kick it. How often do you have two penalties without the first second running yeah, off a clock? I don't know. Could that be a first? It could be. I've never seen it happen in 23 years of broadcasting. So Here we go again. Third time's a charm, please. <laughs> Glenn Smith Chevrolet kickoff, and he puts a big leg into this one. Going to go down to the 20. Going to bring it out, 25, 30. And what a good hit hit. right there at the 36 the 37 yard line and Homewood will have good field position there after we flubbed the two kicks. Now we have a penalty flag. My I gosh. hope this is not a sign of things to come for yeah. tonight. Yeah. A penalty flag coming in very late after that. We deserved the first two. Yep. There, there was we no question oh, yeah, that we were sure. all side on the first two. And uh, this one will be some something to do after the play, after the whistle's blown. Nice hit by Christian Smith. On that right side, that only a, a sophomore. Guy's a thumper, man. Uh, good size, and uh, he sticks the headgear right in the chest, gets him down. They got great field position. Let's hope it's not better. And talk it out right there around the 40-yard line. The penalties back here around the 48. Not a sluggish start to this one due to the yellow hankies. A dead ball, unsportsmanlike conduct against Homewood. And one will be against us, I'm assuming. Yeah. So, it'll be offsetting. Offset. It's a little extracurricular activity here in Homewood. We'll go first and ten right where they are. First and ten from the 38-yard line. Ball on the far hash, moving left to right. Number 11, the quarterback in there for the Patriots. That's Will Myers. The handoff up the middle took a big hit yeah, right at the hit. 40 by Jai X and going to drive him backwards. He picked J up two yards. Number six, Jai Hicks, our leading tackler on the season. 25 tackles coming into the ball game, so right at nine tackles per game. Had 100 last year as a junior and uh, well on his way to another 100-plus tackle senior season. Going to give him forward progress up closer to the 41, so they'll call it second and seven for the Patriots. Myers in the shotgun with trips down here to the bottom. Myers looks down here, quick screen pass out here, and the Wildcats wrap him up. That's Caden Hyde back there for a loss. 
back to the original line of scrimmage. So it'll be third and 10 coming up. Caden Hyde reading that quick screen out here and beat his man and put him back for a three-yard loss. So it'll be third and 10. Christopher Wyckoff doing a great job containing the edge, making him cut that thing back inside as they're looking for that swing pass into the trips. Uh, you'd expect that one to turn toward the sideline and see if they can get it up. Nowhere to go. Right. And as long as you can get it back in, you've got linebackers in the middle that can scrape across and make the tackle, and Caden did there. Third down and ten trips to the top, one down here to the bottom, ball close to this near hash, moving left to right. Myers in the shotgun with one back, going to drop back and look down the middle of the field. He's under pressure, going to take off and run. Going to be hit and drop yeah. just shy of the first down. I think he, I think he got it. This – Going to depend Ryan on Judge coming in on this near side. Looks like they may give it to him, and they yeah. do. Well, you had the the far side. Judge was about That's a yard and a half yeah. behind yeah. where this one on That's the near side. Yeah. Keep an eye on the one on this side. I feel fairly certain he gave him about a yard and a half extra on that <laughs> one. Looked straight across where that chain was, and he took it right there to it. We'll see if that continues. First, but I'd, I'd be shocked if I didn't see that difference. First, you got the film. Well, the naked eye looked like he was a yard short. Yeah. So, uh, first and ten, Homewood, man in motion right to left. Stay in the shotgun formation. Going to pull it, read option. He's got a block out here. It's a hold. And 45 and down to the 40-yard line. He's not going to call that, though. He's going to stay away from that first one. down there for the Homewood Patriots there. Our corner not getting off the block. What did have a right hand full of maroon jersey on that stalk block on the sideline, and that's what allowed him to get this good gain. Their quarterback is their leading rusher, right at 160 yards on the season. Two rushing scores. Has thrown the football for 750 yards, so he's a good player. Kind of looks like Gargus out there, doesn't he? Yeah, he's he? very similar. Wore the same number. We've, we've both got some nightmares yeah. with an 11 for Homewood wearing. We got him back the next year, we but boy, his junior year, he was special. Yeah, he was. First down and 10 now at the Wildcat 41, man in motion. Going to run that option to the left side there, and he going to tuck it and go upfield down to the 30-yard line, another first down there for the Patriots, and this is what ate us up against Central Clay. We could not contain the option, and obviously they watched film on that. Uh, that game and uh, really the same type of formation the guy in motion comes out there and uh, they they outnumber us we just have don't have enough men out there to cover that and uh, he just keeps it and runs for another first down down to the 31 that's a pickup of 10. Nine minutes to go here underway here in the first quarter Homewood on the move. A little pistol formation look now gonna hand it off and boy what a great play in the middle of that defense Great job filling that hole there by Jai Hicks. And again, running downhill straight ahead, Randy. Not working right now. Right. Jai really playing well in the middle part of that defense. Yeah. Their, their quarterback, just to give everyone at home that's tuning in, he's probably 5'8 or 5'9, probably weighs 185 pounds, though. He's well built. Um, looks like a big type running back back there. And uh, so he's, he's physical enough to be able to run the football if we give him the edge. And right now, we don't have mm. anybody. You know, on the option, you got to have somebody hit the quarterback every play. Yeah. Second down and 11 now. Sprints a man out, empty back, going to throw a slant pass complete. Just shy of the 25-yard line, going to put him down at the 26. So, we'll give him about six yards there on that play. Kylan Newell on the reception, just a slot receiver, sit down route about six or seven yards. Going to be Jai Hicks again with another stop. He's got four tackles on this opening drive. For the Wildcats, still zero to zero. Clock's rolling, 7.48 to go and counting here in the first. Homewood's driven the football uh, from about the 40-yard line down inside the 30 to the 26 of the Wildcats. Third down and five. Myers in the shotgun with two to the top, one down here to the bottom. Going to go in motion there. That's Newell. Going to hand off up the middle. He squirted through, and he's gone. Touchdown. Homewood, he got through that first line, and Osmer, Takes it in from 26 yards out, and Homewood strikes first here. And uh, that drive started on their own 38-yard line. Well, one so thing to notice, again, it's a big offensive line for Homewood, and big offensive lines for us right now is not good matchups. And uh, they get good push in the center part of that line. Uh, we don't get any movement, it doesn't look like. And then once they squirt out of that arm tackle in the secondary, it's – to the house it goes. Great opening drive if you're a Patriots fan. Extra point coming up here for the Patriots. Snap the place. 
Oh. The kick is good, man. What a leg. <laughs> Seven to nothing is your new Karen Chanel State Farm insurance score. Homewood took that drive 62 yards and uh, punched it in the end zone. 26 yard touchdown run by Osmer. They got two good running backs on this team. And uh, again, you add the running, you had the quarterback in there as the third runner, which is the leading rusher. He's a running back. Man. So there's really three running backs in the backfield for Homewood a lot of times. So Myers built like some of those running backs I can remember yep. at Homewood. You know, just these guys that are 5'8, five, 5'9, five, that they bulk up to about 185, 190 pounds. If you arm tackle them, forget it. They're going to run through that. They have always coached physicality at Homewood. You know, I've always I, thought about that. When you play them, right. they're going to play a physical brand of football. They may not throw year in and year out a Tim Hawthorne out at receiver, right. but they're going to have running backs and quarterbacks that are willing to do that. You know, the one thing, first drives for us this year have not been good. No. But our defense settles down. You know, sure this does. is very similar to what every happened week. Clear. Every week yep. they just yeah. seem to answer. So maybe you got to get it out of your system and – Settle down. Kickoff going to go into the end zone. They're going to let him run it out. That's Malcolm bringing it out. Broke a tackle. Going to hit the sideline. Oh. He tripped up right before he could at the 25. He was in the end zone and uh, maybe yeah. caught the ball outside of the end zone, and they allowed him to return it. But uh, gets it out to the 25. Man, he was one shoestring away yeah. from hitting that sideline, and it would have probably been the band playing for us. Um uh, but the Wildcat offense on the field here with 7.19 to go in the first quarter, down seven to nothing. Gabe Benton comes in, one back beside him. Ball on the far hash, moving right to left. Two to the top, two to the bottom. <clears throat> Homewood has given up a ton of points this year in every football game. Gave up 26 last week to Calera. Gabe Benton in the shotgun, takes the snap, gonna swing a pass out here. Got his receiver as Chris Foster, and uh, he's going to go down for a loss of about four or five. Just a great open field tackle. That's John Griffin, sophomore, free safety. And we put him in a bad spot right there. Any one-on-one -on -one matchup with Chris Foster, you like your chances, and that one is a wide throw from <laughs> it's a long throw. the middle of the hash all the way out to this left sideline. Outstanding job in an open field tackle for the Patriots. Loss of four, second down and 14. Now back to the 21. Homewood show a blitz, going to hand off over there. TJ going to run it up to about the 25-yard line. And TJ spilled there. It'll be third and 10 coming up for the Wildcats really quick. Need to move the chains here. Pretty good blocking off the right side there, Brett. But uh, good job by their linebacker to scrape across, make the tackle. Third and 10, 623 to go here in the first. Shotgun formation, Gabe Benton's going to drop back to pass. Going to look down the field. Pass is tipped and incomplete. It was contact at midfield. and There was no flag. I mean, there was definite contact there at midfield. And a three and out, and the Wildcats are off the field and a punt. Not what you want. Looking for the home run over the top with Malcolm Simmons. and Well, it looked like. <clears throat> Gabe didn't know if he was going to cut inside yep. or stay up straight, so he hit it kind of in the middle and uh, really didn't put any air on that one. Tried that was to, contact at midfield. Tried to throw it mm -hmm. on the line, and Malcolm really turned back uh, right. there at the last second to try to get behind him. We're lucky it wasn't an interception. Malcolm, ball right in the hand of the safety. He's going to punt it out of here. This ball's going to hit, take a big bounce down to the 35. He's going to be scooped up and returned back to – Right at where they started their first drive, right at the 38-yard line. So, so two drives here now for the Patriots. The first one went for a touchdown. Wildcats uh, three and out there on that first possession. You know, it's hard when you, you lose four yards on first down. I yep. mean, you're behind the sticks. and Patriots on their second offensive possession here. We had the ball for a minute. Exactly one minute. Homewood back. Up seven to nothing with 6.05 to go here in the first. Man in motion going to hand it off the middle. Broke a tackle across the 45 up to the 46, 47. And really just simple football right there. And we missed some tackles at the line of scrimmage. And he's able to pick up about seven or eight yards there. What, what do you give him? Um, 40 pounds a man. We got three defensive linemen down there and we're giving up. 
at least 40 pounds a man. Yeah, mm -hmm. probably. Maybe yeah. more. Maybe. On that left side, I'm going to go with whew, 60 yeah. pounds a man. It looks uh, They're not as big as Central Clay was, but they're – their left tackle's really good, Brett. You and I gave oh, yeah. him a game of the uh, a player of the week. He's one of the he's a big time recruit, first team all state. Then go down that far sideline, pass is caught out of bounds. We never saw the football at all. And right now it's out to practice early for Homewood. Yeah, just to go route down that left sideline, perfectly thrown football, like the matchup that they got. And they're gonna spotlight their top player out at receivers, Luke Eldridge, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that's Elijah Lavender. And Lavender has 310 yards in receptions and four touchdowns coming into the ball game. And man-to-man -man matchup, we never turn our head, sitting in that cover one, and uh, they throw a perfect pass. You can't defend it if you can't turn around and find it. First and 10 down at the 26, knocking on the red zone door again here, 520 to go in the first quarter. You know, option to the left, and we do a better job that time of corralling Myers as he ran around the left side. Good job by the freshman, Caleb Spivey, taking on that block, and, man, he's giving up 75 pounds over there off the left side, but he's physical, gets those arms <laughs> into that big left tackle, Brett, uh, sheds him and gets across and makes that stop, and that's that's where they're going to try to run the football, right. even if it's um, the yep. short side of the field. you got to like your size differential that you see over there, and, Spreading them out over here to the right, Coach. Second down and 10 coming up. Trips down here to the bottom this time. Going to hand it straight ahead. And uh, going to be put down around the 22-yard line. So, a gain of four. So, third down coming up in about six, six and a half Come coming up. So, the Wildcats here as the clock ticks under 430 here, guys. This is another issue with time of possession. When yeah. you go three and out and you get a running football team like Clay Central and this Homewood team, I mean, you can't you can't touch the ball for a minute and a half, no. two minutes and a quarter. This is play thirteen, <clears throat> and we've had it for him. three. There, three. Third and seven. Handoff, stutter step. Wildcats bottle it up right here. He bounced oh, it out though. Man, fifteen, ten, five, and going to be put down before we had him bottled up, and he bounced outside. Wildcats staring right down the the barrel of a two touchdown deficit right now. First and goal at the one yard line. 4.02 to go here in the first quarter. Two big physical backs, Brett. Number two yeah, and they 23. Got two, They're yeah, two good size kids. Osmer, the number two, has already scored. This time it'll be Myers. And Myers there is picked up and pushed backwards there to the line of scrimmage. And Jai well, Hicks Jai again. Jai Hicks is having a heck of a night. He's Getting having to, you know. The, the issue right now is you're going to play three down linemen matched up with that big offensive front. You're negating not the defensive line for the most part. Right. Um, so your linebackers have to make pretty much all the tackles. And we've done a pretty good job, but we've let them get through a couple of arm tackles for big plays. And all big tail. Bam, what a hit. Drove him backwards right there at the two-yard line. Big number 27, J.D. Jordan. Man, he took a shot right yeah. there. Five, 23, I, think. I believe. Yeah, I, th I think Our, it's maybe number 20. five for us. Well, it was Jai that made the Jai, initial contact. Uh, 23 in the backfield, my fault. Going to sneak it ahead. Not sure. Homewood thinks they scored. No signal yet. Yeah. There it was. Touchdown real quick. Sneak ahead. The Patriots up 13 nothing. 259, and we've had the ball for three plays. So this is two 62-yard drives yeah. for Homewood. Uh, it didn't take a, a genius to figure out the time of possession and the, and the yardage they put up versus no. ours. All running outside of two completions, too. One a little sit-down route on the previous Don't drive. Need to throw and it. A go route that they hit perfectly down that yeah. Hey, it's side. a botch snap. Wildcats going to ball it up. It'll stay 13 to nothing. We haven't had a chance to take a commercial break, but we'll take one real quick. Time out on the field. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. Forbes Auto Sales Highway 280 in Kellerton, Alabama is home-owned and home-operated. If you're looking for tires, they have it. If you're looking for a vehicle, they have them. Great selection. Always out looking for more just for you, the customer. And if you're looking for service, whether you buy the vehicle from them or whether you buy the vehicle somewhere else, they do service work and got a great crew there. Keep this in mind. Don't you go by Forbes Auto Sales on Highway 280 in Kellerton today. 
They say we live in an age of big data, where computers and fancy algorithms are supposed to know you best. But at Country Financial, we know helping you own your future requires, well, something much bigger. Contact your local Country Financial representative and start planning for your future with a personal touch. Arise is public transportation from downtown Alexander City. Now from downtown Alexander City, they cover a 20 mile radius. Those vans are all over the place. When was the last time you went to see that friend? When was the last time you really needed to go to the doctor but you didn't have a, a ride? Well now you got one. It's a rise. Remember this, it's public transportation. Their number to call is 256-329-8444. Let Riverbank and Trust open doors for you. Whether you're purchasing land, a lot by the lake, or building or buying a home, begin with Tallapoosa County's loan experts. They'll guide you through the entire process, providing local decision-making, prompt responses, and the best real estate loan solutions for your unique needs. And in most cases, Riverbank and Trust can close your loan in 30 days or less, and they'll walk by your side every step of the way. It's all just part of the Riverbank and Trust difference. We invite you to experience it for yourself. Don't you put that fire out. I'm talking about Fire Truck Barbecue has brand new hours in downtown Alexander City. 1030 to 5, that's 1030 to 5, Monday through Friday. You're talking about good food, vegetables, and all the meats, and the cornbread, and they cater also year-round at Fire Truck Barbecue. So if you've never been, check it out today. 1030 to 5, Monday through Friday, downtown LX City. $500 over invoice now at Tony Sarah Ford. Every new Ford on the lot, $500 over invoice when you trade and finance with Tony Sarah Ford. Plus 3.9% financing for 72 months. Save thousands on new F 150s and more. All backed by Sarah's lifetime warranty. No charge. Every new Ford, $500 over invoice at Tony Sarah Ford. In Sylacauga, TonySarahFord.com. Jackson Apothecary, located in New Side, Alabama, on Highway 22 East, is open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30. Now, Brad Jackson says, hey, it's organized, it's clean, it's for you. Vitamins, medical supplies, household items, they even have a drive-thru. Let me give you their number, 256-392-3448. That's 256-392-3448. Jackson Apothecary. Dean's Daylight Donuts and Cafe in downtown Alexander City, they are now serving more than hot donuts. Stop by and pick up one of their breakfast bowls with your choice of sausage, bacon, or smoked sausage on a bed of scrambled eggs, cheese, and country grits. Or try their sausage or bacon and egg croissants and add a cup of hot coffee, iced coffee, or orange juice. Dean's Daylight Donuts and Cafe, open Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Carlisle Heat and Air says it's tune-up time for your HVAC system. Having your unit tuned up increases energy efficiency and can reduce the wear and tear on your unit. Hmm. Call Carlisle Heat and Air today at 256-234-0019 for a price. Serving the Lake Martin area, Alexander City, Dayville, Jackson Gap, and Goodwater. Don't get hot. Be cool. Call Carlisle Heat and Air today at 256-234-0019. Don't get hot. Be cool. Have you met your local farmer's insurance agent, Patrick Holina? He proudly serves Tallapoosa County and Alexander City families and businesses and is ready to review your existing policies or provide a no-obligation quote today. Call the Holina Agency at 256-234-0037 or stop in today at 704 Commerce Drive to get smarter about your insurance. Again, that's the Holina Agency, 256-234-0037. We are farmers. Bum, ba, da, bum, 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 bum. Underwritten by Farmers, Truck Fire Insurance Exchanges, and Affiliates. Products not available in every state. Back to back 62 yard drives by the Homewood Patriots. Wildcats need to tighten up their bootstraps on offense. They had it three plays, and they're going to have to strap up the, the, the straps a little bit tighter on defense for sure because we've given up over 120 yards of offense in two drives. 
Well, you and I get caught up checking out, uh, especially the lines of scrimmage before games. Been doing this yeah. together for a long time, Brett. And uh, when I looked down there and I saw the offensive and defensive lines for Homewood, I just knew that from a size differential, they had us tonight. Going to be a pooch kick down here around the 25 to Chris Foster, and uh, he has nowhere to go. Let me put him down at the 26, 27. So the Wildcats will go back to work on offense down 13 to nothing here. Just got to get in flow, man, like they did at Collier. Just got to settle in and make some plays. You cannot get behind the sticks. TJ with a good four or five yard run on that possession, but that was it. <clears throat> got us back to the original line of scrimmage. 2.54 to go here in the first. Shotgun going to send Lawson in motion left to right. Two up to the top, one receiver down here to the bottom. Going to hand off to TJ straight ahead, driving those legs across yeah. the 30, no. up to the 31, 32 yard line. So a good run there by TJ. You feel like if there's back. ever a time to run the football, it's right now. Yes. The last yes. thing you want is this defense back out on yes. the field anytime. Right. So if you can run the rest of the first quarter out, move it into the second, and see if we can run the football. And I think this is not a big defensive line. No. By no means for Homewood. Not a big linebacking core either. Second, Same as they had last year, Brett. Second C is going to fire a pass out there. It was almost intercepted. Yeah. That long pass across the far side. and I, I'm just not sure about that one. I'll be honest with you. I mean, you just picked up four yards, and now you put yourself in a third down and six, a possession play again, and the clock stopped. We need to move the chain. And another long pass from hash to far side and third down. Gabe gonna look, got some time, gonna go deep down the right side. It's overthrown, three and out. Well covered. Yep. Got Sedarian Morgan running a streak well, down the right I mean, sideline and uh, don't know if it's a wheel, just looks like a streak down the hash, doesn't it coach? And, yeah. Uh, Trying to get a matchup that they want with Sedarian and a safety. Gabe gives them a chance. Not a poorly thrown football here in a pretty good spot, uh, but very well defended by Homewood. Defender right on top of it. Found the football, made a play on the football. He can't play it much better than they did there. Four or five yards on first down, guys. and You go to the air and you three and out again. There's a high snap. They bring pressure, almost got it. Oh, man. But Malcolm booms this one. Going to be fair called at the 25-yard line, but 2.06 to go. And we've had the ball for six plays, and I think we have probably a minute and a half yeah. to two minutes of, of, of time of possession here in the first quarter. And um, Homewood will huddle up. They'll take over. Worst field position tonight, but they're two for two on offensive possessions. They'll start at their own 26 here with 2.06 to go in the first quarter. They lead it 13 to nothing, and I'm with, I'm with you, Randy. I, I think you said it. Now is the time to run the football, and we, we went away with it uh, from it again. And it's been our, our best two plays offensively of the night. Man in motion left to right. Myers takes the snap. Going to drop back. He's going to go down that far sideline. He's got a receiver. He caught it, and he did catch it down at the 45. It's a penalty. We interfered. And uh, I, I don't know if you can get off to much of a much more of a worse start than we have uh, in this football game. Well, offensively this one could have defense. gone both ways. Yeah. Maybe they call it, it against. Well, they, us, we were pulling their his guy. He got behind us, and we pulled his jersey. And I think it was a pretty easy call. Well, they love that matchup, and we're in cover zero out yeah, on the wide side. Are. And he is a good sized kid. And Elijah Lavender is, has over 300 <clears> yards in receptions. Coming into the ball game, they've tried him twice. He's gotten behind us twice. Uh, he's good size. What are you giving, Brett? Maybe six, six foot, one eighty. Six, six foot, six one. Yeah, yeah I think so, man. Good size, good strength. Played the football well. We tried to turn our head at the last second and yeah. play it, but we had already. <laughs> well, he got behind us too, and that was just not a good look. With two minutes to go, that play took six seconds. Down to the Wildcat forty-two yard line. So. New set of downs, Homewood just playing lights out here to start this game. Man in motion right to left. Myers looks over here to his right, and he's got his receiver. Wildcats yeah. collapse down, complete over here to Kylan Newell. Our linebackers playing as well as they can. Another tackle for Caden Hyde. He and Jai Hicks have been in on a lot of stops so far. I think that's Marbury also coming up uh, from the safety post and making a tackle. 
Sepul will rotate a few new players in and out, but still sticking with that three-man defensive line right now. 130 and counting. Not a pretty quarter here for the Wildcats, possession-wise, time of possession. Only six plays. Second down and 10 for the Patriots. A little confusion, clock running down, two seconds, one, and they'll burn a timeout. And we will take a Tallapoosa Ford timeout with them. Wildcats trail it 13 to nothing. That is your Karen Chanel State Farm Insurance score. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. Gillsopalika.info. Get pre approved in minutes online at Gillsopalika.info. For a pre owned car, truck, or SUV from Gills Auto Sales, 1430 Gateway Drive in Opelika. Jesse Henderson, owner of Henderson Glass on Davel Road in Alexander City, says give them a call today for a price, 256-234-5464. They do auto, commercial, residential, showers, shower enclosures, mirrors, tabletops. It's all about glass. So I'm seeing clearly if you are. Again, that number to call is Henderson Glass, Davel Road, 256-234-5464. I'm used to living alone, taking care of myself, Mr. Independent. But every now and then, I need a little help. My kids aren't close and I want to stay in my own home. As close as family is such a godsend. Caring professionals here to help me with all the little things. Taking care of the house and myself, keeping me looking sharp, feeling sharp too. Learn more at asclosesfamily.com. They really are as close as family. Ellen Shelton Gregg is so excited to be in her brand new location with Picket Fence, downtown Alexander City on Calhoun Street. Open Monday through Saturday from 10 to 6. Original, unique household items, vintage books, vintage sporting goods, vinyl, vintage and antique furniture, original artwork, lake decor, just to mention a few things. Come on by today at Picket Fence, downtown Alexander City. Hi, this is Andrew McGreer at Dunning Roofing. At Dunning Roofing, we specialize in high-quality, premium roofs. We don't build roofs that just meet code requirements. We build quality roofs with premium materials that significantly exceed our competitors' warranties. We put money on your roof, not in our pockets. If you're looking for a top-quality roof, call Dunning Roofing today for your free quote at 256-307-7601 or visit us at dunningroofingal.com for more information. Jackson Drugs on Cherokee Road in Alexander City is ready to kick the football season off. Auburn plates, towels, earrings, bracelets, picture frames and cups, Alabama trays, cups, plates, game day t-shirts and bags for both teams. Hey Georgia Bulldog fans, we've got you covered too. Drop in today and check out our gift shop. Go team! Are you suffering from neck pain, back pain, or sciatica, or do you just want to feel better overall? Dr. Andrew Curley at Curley Clinic of Chiropractic was born and raised in Ellic City, provides different chiropractic techniques, and applies the therapies to suit your needs. Curley Clinic of Chiropractic is located at 748 Commerce Drive in Ellic City. I'm Kenny Dean. I'm a patient, I believe. For an appointment, call 256-392-4445. Not wasted. Not trashed. Not thrown away. Not junk. Saved. Saved. Repaired. And restored. I am renewed. When you donate used goods to the Salvation Army, you're giving the greatest gift, a second chance to those who need it most. Donating couldn't be easier or more urgent. Visit satruck.org for a donation center near you or call 1-800-SA-TRUCK for free pickup. When Americans needed a car that worked harder than a car, we built them a truck. And they used our trucks to build interstates, and industries, and communities, livelihoods, and neighborhoods. Americans needed vehicles worthy of who they are and what they can do. So, we built them a truck.
Second down and 10 for Homewood here, 114 to go. Here in the first quarter. Watch. Going to hand off and across the 40 and pile him up right there. And put him down around that the fumble. Ball's out. And we come up with it. Let's see, though. They haven't given us the football no, yet. No, not yet. I don't know that they will. They're not showing. They're saying he's down. Yeah. We come out of there. They mark him down at around the 37. So. This side judge on our side. He, he may live dead on um, Green Springs Avenue in Homewood. <laughs> I'm serious. He's got a nice red brick home over there. I'm watching. I'm telling you, we won't get a call from him all night. Third down and six. Shotgun snap going to roll out here. Reverse screen. He's got it set up over there too, man. Block. Oh, good tackle. Good tackle, but a first down. Saved a touchdown, though. They saw what we were seeing up here. Yep. And it was a mismatch on the back side of that. Showed all the motion to the right. And we had all the flow coming this way and then a throwback against the green. So first down and 10, Homewood at the 30. The clock will roll under 30 seconds here in the first quarter, guys. This is going to be a six-play offensive quarter for the Wildcats here. And time of possession less than, less than two minutes. Looks yeah. like they're going to go for the play here, Brett. Yep, going to snap it here with 14 seconds. Going to hand off up the middle. Going to be put down across the 25, and that will be the final play of the first quarter. We'll go to break here. There is a late Martin Tractor timeout on the field. Your Karen Chanel State Farm Insurance score, Homewood 13, Wildcat 0. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. You save auto rental of Alex City has moved to 1185 Cherokee Road across from the Cherokee Pure. Our new offices are open, and at You Save, we're putting you back in the auto rental with personalized local service and the best rates in town. Whether your vehicle's in the shop or business or vacation travel, You Save has you covered with a large fleet of cars, SUVs, and vans. When you need a rental, call or visit You Save on Cherokee Road, where they always have you covered. Lake Martin Tractor and Outdoor wants you to know we appreciate a great year from all of East Central Alabama, and now our inventory of superior zero-turn mowers from Spartan and Mahindra Tractors is on the move. Shop Lake Martin Tractor for outstanding deals, finance rates as low as 0% and low payments. Spartan mowers as low as $84 per month. Mahindra four-wheel drive tractors and loader packages as low as $399 per month, including cutter, box blade, and 20-foot trailers. Spring into 22 at Lake Martin Tractor and Outdoor, Highway 280 in Alexander City, or online, lakemartintractor.com. At CNT Electric, our clients are our priority. For the safety and security of your family and home, our technicians are professionally trained, drug tested, background checked, and wear uniforms with name tags. We're proud to have served the Elk City, Dayville, and Lake Martin areas for the past 10 years. Give us a call at 256-234-0007 for all your electrical service and repair needs. Or visit us on the web at www.cntelectricllc.com and spell out the word and. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center provides optimum care for the whole person. Dr. Demo Popov specializes in the prevention and diagnosis of high blood pressure, kidney disease, diabetes, and acute and chronic conditions. Our weight loss clinic offers lipo shots and a guide to healthy weight loss. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center, where lifestyle changes are made. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union, is looking for the next hometown hero. Hometown heroes could be first responders, public service workers, community leaders, pastors, community volunteers, or anyone who is making a difference in your hometown. Submit your nominations now online at myhscu.com. And if your nominee is selected, they will get a $100 Visa cash card and a certificate of appreciation from Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union. Federally insured by the NCUA. Welcome to Alex City Food Shop, your locally owned and operated shell station located at Highway 280 and Airport Drive. Fill up with Shell V-Power Nitro Plus Premium Gasoline and get the best total engine protection you can get, period. Stop by anytime, day or night, open 24-7, and check out the great specials on all your favorite convenience store items. Keep that car clean with a touch-free car wash, where your six wash is always free. Also, be sure to use your FRN and Winn-Dixie Reward Card and save on all of your gasoline purchases.
For over 80 years, the staff members of Radney and Langley Funeral Home have been friends in time of need, and we are dedicated to honoring, sharing, and preserving the amazing and inspirational stories of life. Sun Agent Cuisine, 993 Airport Drive in Alexander City. Open Monday through Wednesday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Thursday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Closed Sundays. With occasional entertainment and drinks with a bite. Great food like shrimp and rice. Sesame chicken with stir-fried veggies, just to name a few. Call 256-392-4446. Sarath and Son say, we look forward to seeing you. Jeremy Worthy with Worthy Plumbing and Construction is carrying on a great family tradition, proudly serving the Lake Martin area and doing new construction, plumbing repairs, remodels, and a whole lot more. So keep this number handy, 205-936-4705. That's Worthy Plumbing and Construction. Again, the number to call is 205-936-4705. That's Mr. Jeremy Worthy. Welcome back, everyone, to the Wildcat Football Network. Not a pretty start for the Wildcats. Down 13 to nothing here at home for homecoming. Homewood coming in, and uh, they're on the move again. Have the ball inside the 25-yard line down at the 24, second and four, as they'll move right to left now as we switch ends of the field. But the Wildcats guys only had the ball for six plays. And, and they had it 20, nice. 20 plays. Very reminiscent of yeah. Central Clay. Yeah. Well, the brand of football we're seeing yeah. is reminiscent too, Brett. Outside it of is. they like the man matchup, which right. they've got right now. I mean, six. Look at six. Second down and four, and they're going to keep it on the ground, though. Good and we play. bottle them up right there at the 25. So, third down coming up. We've had them in – a few third down situations, there's an official's timeout on the field. I'm not sure what the. Is there a problem with the clock? I'm not sure. 11.47 to go here in the first half. <clears throat> Just underway, they'll send a. A player out. That's an awesomer. Already got a touchdown, and <clears throat> I had a feeling from the onset of this one with the the penalty flags, and this one's kind of slowed down. I'm not sure what the discussion is and what they're talking about, but oh, five wide. <clears throat> yeah, they're gonna go empty here yeah. on third down and four. More than likely the quarterback keeping it, though. I'd yeah. be shocked if he didn't run this football at this portion of the field. It's four down territory. And look at the mismatch inside. I mean, they got the numbers. I mean. Five. Yeah. Five in the box. Maybe you have, have to spread it out with the wide outs, and it is a perfect matchup for him to run the football. Third down and four. Takes a snap. He's going to throw it. Now he's going to look to run it. It's an RPO, oh, and he stuck it right in there for a – a catch. That's Lavender again, his third man. reception of the football game. First time we've seen him actually in a route that wasn't a go route down the sideline and uh, just a curl, I, I call it a little curl, about eight yards from the line of scrimmage, <clears throat> roll yeah. the pocket. Quarterback did want to run it, but right. our right defensive <clears throat> end over here in Caleb Spivey he stayed at home and did well, made him throw the football, <clears throat> but it's a strike on the run across his body. First down and 10 at the 24. Homewood being very deliberate here as the clock rolls. Well, it's been all them in yeah. the first half. Six plays for the Wildcats, 13 to nothing. Homewood leads, 11-18 to go in the second. Got the ball inside our red zone again. Myers in the shotgun with two wide up to the top. Claps takes the snap. Going to roll the pocket to the right. He's going to take off and run now. Turns the corner to 15, and they're going to yep. get a hold. The flag comes flying in from – the back judge there, so this one will come back. Wildcats defensively just trying to do whatever to hang on right now and 
But your offense has got to help them a little bit right now. You you got to yeah. you got to come out here and run the foot. You can run the football on this team. I mean, it, we've we've got two plays that we've run the football and got over ten yards rushing, and and, and we've chosen to go to the air on the other four. Well, that one's helpful, and, boys, <clears> because. That's a six, seven yard gain, and this is a hold way inside this play. It didn't help the quarterback at all there, so let's take that one and I hope that we can find a way to continue to get in the backfield at some point in time. And uh, you see that one was, what, five, six yards down the field where they right. called this holding penalty, so only six yards from the line of scrimmage. They'll have first and we'll call it 14 from there. I see what the problem is now, guys. The play clock's stuck at 22. Okay. Uh -huh. So, um, the game clock's fine, so they're having to keep the play clock on the field. Shotgun snap, handoff, speed sweep to the right. Missed uh -huh. two tackles inside the 15. and Missing tackles, guys, on the edge. Well, the heck of a block. Their, their right tackle just went on ahead and put us back there at the 30 where he wanted to put us. And uh, they able to get the edge. He sealed us in. Uh, good drive block. And... Um, you know, it's, it's not a bad job. By, look, if your secondary and your linebackers are making tackles and they're only picking up six or seven yards, that's about all you can expect right here matched up. And um, we just – we're not getting any penetration up front. Second down and six at the 20 – actually at the uh, 13. He's going to go to the air. Myers in the corner. What a catch. What a catch. Unbelievable catch into the corner of the end zone for a touchdown. Man. Perfectly thrown football. It's just a back shoulder throw. I don't know if it's really even no, it wasn't a, pointed. He no, just, he just, man, I don't know how it went through our guy. I think. He, he high pointed it right over the headgear of our defender. And, you know, the thing is when you're in man coverage and you've got your head turned to the back and you're not playing the football, Brett, um, it, it's really not a risk because no. there's no chance the defender is going to turn around and intercept the football there because he's not going to find it. And uh, they see that, and they, they make a beautiful throw out to number 15. That's Kylan Newell, his second reception of the ball game, first touchdown. Extra point, high snap. Man. Kick is on the way, and it's good. It's 20 to nothing. That we is need your Hud new. to do that one day. Karen Chanel, State Farm Insurance. You don't, you don't think that's a Homewood soccer player kicking that Probably. ball back there to our um, whatever the in Flag. honor of our veterans yeah. back here. <laughs> As good a soccer program as Homewood has. Yeah. Um, and, and you're seeing it there. Great great leg and a great start for Homewood. 20 to nothing. My gosh. Who would have expected this one? A one in three Homewood squad. That, um, but I did mention to Brett this week, you can get caught up and you can look at the record for Homewood. And Brett and I, we've done seen them way too many times over the years. They're so uh, well coached. I, and uh, I think you need to focus a lot on what you do on the field, and I think that's what we need to do right now. And they're playing great football, no doubt. I, not to cut you off, Randy, but, you know, you kind of got to get in the flow of what, what's going yeah. on in the game. And defense is reeling right now. The offense has got to keep the ball on the field. And we've had the ball for two minutes in this game, and yeah. that's you, you're not going to beat anybody doing that. No, not mm. at all. They'll kick off right to left, and we'll see what – we decide to do offensively here on our third possession. A little pooch kick down the far side, going to be fielded by Foster at the 20. Going to run backwards and then try to get a head start, and he's going to be put down at the 20-yard line. So. Tell you what's impressive with Homewood also so far, their open field tackling, Brett. We put them in three or four positions where they've got to tackle a, a dynamic playmaker in Chris Foster, and, man, they are closing the gap quickly, and once they get their hands on us, we're going down to the ground, so I, I can't say enough. Right. I don't want to sit over here and say a lot of good things about Homewood, but right now you can't say a negative thing about the way that they're playing. First down and 10, Wildcats at the 19-yard line. Shotgun formation for the offense. Man in motion left to right, going to look up and run the football, cut back, and uh, this time they sold out to stop us right there. and. Uh, get across our headgear. Yeah. It's the last thing you want. If you're going to run off tackle, which we're running off tackle to the right, if you let penetration get across your headgear in the middle part of that line, you're done for. And that's what they do. We have to cut it back across the grain to hit to the left side from the right. Nowhere to go on the back side of this play. One yard loss, second and 11. 20 to nothing. Homewood leads 930 to go here in the second. Second down and 11. Malcolm in motion right to left. 
Gabe takes the snap. Going to look, going to swing it out here. Got his receiver at the 20. And going to be out of bounds. That's TJ. TJ's all the offense we've had tonight. Third down coming up. A possession play. Wildcats have got to figure out a way to move the chains. Right now, it's small victories. Hold on. 9-17 to go here in the first half. They need to get to the 29. Third down and six. Going to run it on a draw play, and my gosh. Go back to the ground on third and six there. And nowhere close. Nine offensive plays for the Wildcats tonight. No touches for Malcolm in the football game. Yeah, it's just, no. my, just really mind Does have one touch. I mean, you can call it an all-purpose <clears throat> touch. He returned a kickoff that was actually, I thought, a yard into the end zone, wasn't it, Brett? And he brought it out. Yeah, he did. To he the did. 25. So, he does have that one touch, <clears throat> but no offensive touches for Malcolm here in the football game. Malcolm, low snap. He's going to have to scoop it up in his block. And he's out of bounds to the 10-yard line. Boy, I'm telling you, this is – you talk about some wheels falling off. They've completely fallen off here. And Homewood's getting ready to run away with this one. With 8.31 to go here in the second quarter, and we've run nine offensive plays. And like you said, we, we haven't – Malcolm hadn't touched the ball at all. No. First and goal for Homewood at the eight. Third punt, Brett. All three punts, yeah. I thought they had a chance to block. I this did. one – this uh, was just a, a little slower getting back there, but uh, well, we really ground. haven't. Well, we really haven't blocked them though. Period on those punts. Uh, Malcolm's just snuck them out of there. I think Wes right. is kind of grab. He's kind of <laughs> breathe a little hard each time that he's gotten rid of yeah. the first two, and that yeah. one just didn't work out. Yeah, I did. Myers, busy man back there, at quarterback. He got a short one this time. Only eight yards to pay dirt for Homewood. Looking to throw it. He's just going to tuck it and run and. Wildcats hit him at the line of scrimmage, going to drive him back and put him down. You know, tippy hat, Wildcats still playing hard on defense. And well, better job, back in, better job back in the secondary there, Brett, trying to throw the football to the right side of the field in those matchups that they've liked so far. Uh, but we have it defended, just pulling the football down and trying this left side. And we contained over here on the left side and uh, sets up a second down and goal from the eight, 7.57 to go in the second. It's all Homewood so far, 20 to nothing. Man in motion left to right, going to hand off right up the middle, found a seam, and he's going to run to the corner of the end zone for a touchdown. Well, you know, that's just a counter play back right. to the right. and Yeah, back to the left that, over here. Well, yeah. they show right, counter yeah. it back to the left. Yeah. Good, good point. And, and their left tackle, <laughs> we don't have a matchup for their left tackle. So if you're going to counter back off tackle to his side, uh, a linebacker is going to have to come across and make the play. And right here, we lose containment on the outside, and they walk the football into the end zone. Now 26 to nothing. Homewood with 7.45 to go in the second. Put Armistead on for another extra point. Strong leg here. There's the snap, the place. Kick is up and good. It's 27 to nothing and guys I, I i've been doing this a long time i don't know that i've ever remembered us only having the ball for nine plays no first down no first downs only yeah. nine plays and 745 to go here in the first half maybe two minutes in the whole game maybe i, I think it's maybe, maybe just a tad bit over yeah maybe three yeah no nah, i don't think it's three <laughs> you don't. i think it's between two and two and a half seriously yeah, probably yeah uh, again, you know, we're not coaches up here, but, you know, from an offensive standpoint, you know, you've got to figure out a way to move the chains. And and, and we've been three and out on the first three possessions. So, Well, I, I think one thing you, you've seen in this game and Central Clay is you can have all the athletes in the world. Yeah. But in football, if you can't win the line of scrimmage, you're mm -hmm. not going to win. Right. You can go ahead and ride it up. You can put Bo Jackson back there at tailback. And if you can't block and you can't tackle from the lines of scrimmage, you're in trouble. And that's not a knock. It's just a couple of these matchups so far in the early part of the season have been really tough for us. A massive offensive line for Homewood. 
and one of the biggest offensive lines I've ever seen for Central Clay. And I know that doesn't have anything to do with us on the offensive <clears throat> side of the ball, Brett, but uh, we're struggling matching up with those defensive fronts for both teams too. Here's a big leg into it down well, to around leg, the five. Though. Yeah. We're going to bring it out, trying to find a little bit of a seam. We're going to cut it and hit the outside and tripped up in the open field Just at the open 20. open field tackling, man. They are playing lights out football across the way. <clears throat> Coming into the Sportplex, one and three on the season. Uh, losing the opening game, lone, the lone win that they have against the same win that we had against Calera this past week. Gave up 21 points to Calera, so you'd hope that you'd still be able to move the football and score against this team, but they've cleaned that up too, and uh, we've tried to put their defenders in some tough compromising situations in the open field, and they've just come through with flying colors with open field tackles. First and 10 takes the snap, gonna hand off up the middle and across the 20 up to around the 22 yard line. They're on first down. Two or three yards right up the gut, trying to find anything offensively to keep this defense off the field. No first downs, 10 plays in the ball game, maybe three minutes of total possession for the Wildcats, 7.15 to go in the second quarter. It's 27 to nothing, Homewood. Two to the top, two down to the bottom. Gable, a little quick sidearm pass complete. Broke a tackle, got a first down. 30, 35 yard line and out of bounds. That's the first time with seven minutes to go in the first half, we've moved the chains and that UAB Cardiology Associates first down took a while to get. Five-yard hit, short side of the field. Good timing on the throw. Better job by David Lawson fighting through that tackle and getting some good yardage up that left sideline. So if we can get a drive going here out to the 36, going to hand off up the middle. And there's a good run, broke the tackle, ball's loose. He fumbled it, and they got it. Wow. Oh, man. Popped him right when he cut back against the grain. Looked like he had a seam. Looked like he was about to have about seven, eight yards there. And boy, if it could go wrong, it has so far here in this first half. 6.53 to go here before halftime. It's been a quick football game, guys. 7.46 here, real time on your watch. And we're almost to halftime. Homewood up 27 to nothing. They'll take over at the Wildcat 41. Man, been a while since we've had one like this. Two to the top, one down to the bottom. Myers in the shotgun formation. Claps takes a snap, hands off, big hole over here. Breaking tackles down to the 35, down to around the 34 yard line. Two that is, we've got down. He was matched up and that's Ty. Yep. And he's got the leg issue, and um, yeah. Ty, Ty getting he, upset, and their yeah. their oh, left man. tackle. I mean, first team All State last year, really getting after it, blocking up to that final whistle, putting him down on the ground, and uh, really fighting with that leg. Yeah. And uh, you can see he's very gimpy over here on the sideline. Tough kid trying to go through the leg issue right. that he's had. Right. Um, but a good run, just like you said, seven yards there on first down, second and three. High snap right there, going to hand off. There it open, is, 30-yard line down to the 28. They just running off left tackle. This is a counter back to the yeah. left, and uh, our matchup with their left tackle, I mean, it, it doesn't take a rocket science to call the ball game here. Right. Just watch 74. Do you remember a few years ago, Brett, was it um, – was it Helena that had that, oh, yeah. that tackle? Oh, yeah, Where did he yeah. end up going? He was uh, – Georgia State. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. Wherever he lined that's up. That's right. That's where the ball went. That's where the ball went, and they put it to us that night. Oh, sure. Um, I remember Clay Webb also for Oxford. Remember him? Right. And I do. Uh, he just – he crashed the whole side of a defensive line for us, whatever they wanted to do. And uh, right now, their left tackle is doing the same. Yeah. Cut back right there to, to the 26-yard line. So, pick up about three there. 5-12 to go here in the first half. Wildcats down 27 to nothing, and – There no rush now, Brett. Ball, uh, the clock runs under five minutes to go, and you know if they can 
keep the football, get three or four more yards here, three or four more yards, get a first down, run this thing down to two or three minutes in the first half and score again, you can pretty much write this one up. Motion man left to right. Don't have a play clock, so don't know how much time's left. Meyer's gonna change the play, jump back in the shotgun formation. And there's a delay of game against Homewood. They're moving back five yards, so it'll be second down and 13 coming up. Four thirty-one to go here in the first half. Homewood trying to get another play in. They're going to move it back even more. Miss spotted the football, so it's going to go back to the 31. Big crowd here tonight, Brett. Homecoming festivities, unfortunately. Not going our way out on the field, but it is nice to see a big crowd. We haven't had one so far this year. Meyer's going to just quarterback draw it right here. Good job by Good Jai, tackle. man, in the open field man, to put him good. down. Uh, we put a lot of pressure on Jai tonight to make a lot of stops out there, and he has really played well so far. I give him seven tackles in the first half, averaging nine tackles per game. Led the team in tackles with 25 coming into the ball game, and uh, he's well on his way to double figures tonight. That's open field type, too. And the oh, yeah, quarterback was, was – <clears throat> It was one-on-one. -on -one. Trying to give him a little jig. Yeah. yeah. And, Third uh, down and 11 coming up at the 29. Senior squares him up. Myers sends a man in motion left to right. Drops the ball. Ball's oh, out. No, he man. got it back. Look at that. 20 yard line. He's going to score on that botched play. There's a penalty flag back here at the 31, but I think we may have been all sides. There's a flag on the play. Not sure if it was them or us with an illegal and it's gonna be against them man i thought we had the football I did too. he fumbled the snap and i thought we had a chance to to grab it. he grabbed it back and took off and ran and scored this flag hit the turf pretty fast back here oh go. waving it off there you go well, that that'll stand actually they're gonna say he went down into three Thought he scored. Wow, guys, this one. There's no way to spin this. This is bad as I can remember. Yeah. It's a bad one. We, we've we had a few around. games that I went into it kind of expecting it. This was not expected. Not uh, tonight. But I can't remember one that I didn't expect it going this bad. Now they did say he's got he got in, so yeah, the score did in. count, and the uh, extra point is up and good. Thirty-four to nothing. Scored every time they touched the football, yeah. guys. Yeah. Well, it was a lot like Central Clay in that first game, yeah. you know, that we saw against them. The you know Central Clay, outside of fumbling the football inside our twenty-yard line in that first half, we just had no answers for them, and it's it's not that they're doing, they're not using a lot of creativity. <laughs> Uh, they see matchups that they like on the lines of scrimmage, and uh, they're getting the lean that they want. The mainly is their left tackle who's special. He's a he's a really really good player. He looks like an interior offensive lineman in the SEC. Just checking him and out. I don't know what his height. You know, we we watched the same several years ago with some of our linemen, and just didn't quite have the height uh, needed to play in the SEC. And maybe he's that's him he's too. He's 6'2", 280. And is six two six foot the question? You know, yeah, that, that's right. the, the problem you get. It kind of reminds me of Daniel Bland. Daniel Bland's right. as good an offensive lineman I think we've <clears throat> ever had at Benjamin Russell. Yes. But Daniel's unfortunate thing is he was six foot two eighty. Yep. And um, that kid looks a lot like Daniel Bland to me, he and does. unfortunately plays a lot like Daniel. Yeah, Bland. he does. Yeah. Thirty four nothing, Homewood in full control here. Let's see what the Wildcats can do with 336. That's about how much time they've had the ball for the entire first half. Pooch kick down to the 20. Looking for some room. And, and they are not. just so good in open field tackling. That's Malcolm Simmons, his only second touch of the football game. 
And man, when they get when they're getting a hold of us, we're going down. Right. We're not getting through the tackles. And um, Malcolm did have a 25-yard kickoff return to start things off, and um, that was the second touch for him there. He only gets a couple of yards on that one. Got to find a way to get the football in his hands. Offense back on the field. One first down in the game. Three thirty to go here in the first half. Can the Wildcats put some points on the board here? Hand off up the middle and uh, spin him down for a gain of about four. Right up the middle. T.J. Wilson, really the only offense to speak of tonight for the Wildcats, which is not much. Second down and six coming up. Three oh five to go here. Pass out to Chris Foster, he's got him. Wide open, 35-40, and up to the 45, and a first down, compliments of UAB Cardiology Associates. Gets your guys in space, see if they can make plays. Move it up to the 47. 256 and counting, down 34 to nothing. Wildcats will get the football to start the second half, so. Gabe's going to drop back to pass, fire pass oh. complete in traffic. Down to the Patriots 41-yard line, so. No flood pattern, left side of the field, showing out, run a curl, throw the curl pattern to Lawson. Man, they had defenders, as you he heard put it from right Coach there, Coleman. Man. And, uh, oh, it was close. They put it right there to him. That was and, a good uh, throw, though. Lawson yeah, goes up there right. and gets it. First down gain, third first down of the first half. Shotgun, going to hand off. No, Gabe's going to keep it and run off the left side. Found a seam. Across the 35, down to the 33. Kind of going downhill now. 2.20 to go here in the first half. Again, Wildcats get the ball to start the second half. They're down 34 to nothing, but you can't get it all back in one possession. Just got to got to get back in the game a little bit at a time. Need to cash this in for a score here before halftime. Shotgun right here. Man coverage down here to the bottom. Hand off TJ across the 30, down to the 28. He's got another first down, compliment to UAB Cardiology Associates. So the Wildcats were their best offensive drive of the night. Moving the football in the hurry up mode. 155 to go here in the first half, trying to get in the end zone. Got a match up there at the slot that I like. The question is, do we go to it? And we're talking it through, but you got a safety rolled over on yeah. Malcolm. You do have an outside backer that's hedged in, but Gabe's I'll gonna take look my to chances. the left. Yeah, and he had a wide nice open in the middle of the field. He's got him. 15 down to the 10. Should be close to first and goal coming up. Chris Foster was wide open on a slant down there. They've got him loosened up a little bit. Let's see if it will be first and goal. It's going to be outside the 10, so it'll be first and 10 at around the 11-yard line with a minute and a half to go here. Wildcats knocking on the door for the first time. Two to the top, two to the bottom. Oh, my gosh. Bobbled snap. Man, gosh. I have to recover it here at the 15. The play lost. Three or four yards, yeah. second down. But look, really, at this point, it's you're just trying to get in the end zone. You got a minute and seven seconds. You got all three timeouts here. Need to find a way to get some points. Second down and 13. Gabe, good snap. Looks gonna go. Oh, no. Did the ball just come out of his hand? I, I'm Luckily telling you, it went yeah, forward. It did. I, I'm telling you, I think I, I've never seen a half of football where if it could go wrong, it has. Third down. In 13, you can get a first down inside the three-yard line. Forty-eight seconds to go here in the first half. Third down, thirteen mm -hmm. trips down here to the bottom. Gabe looking, he's going to take off and run. Fifteen and going to fall down at the original line of scrimmage. So fourth down coming up. Thirty-six seconds to go here. Time 
And there's a timeout. 30 seconds to go. We'll take a quick one with them. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. At Russell Medical, we're proud of our exceptional nurses, like Nurse Brandy Worthy. Brandy represents the selfless, compassionate clinical leader patients expect and co-workers admire. Brandy was recently honored with the Nightingale Award for nursing excellence for her high standards, sound judgment, and caring manner. Her passion for her profession inspires us all. Being a nurse is not just what you do, it's who you are. I'm proud to be a part of the nursing team at Russell Medical. We are the link between all hospital services, providing you with exceptional, personalized care. Satterfield Outdoor Living is Lake Martin's trusted friend for your outdoor land and leisure needs. We're the region's authorized skag mower dealer for residential and commercial lawns and offer all the small engine accessories you need. With top lines of steel, Echo, Shindaiwa, Husqvarna, and Matabo products that can tame any landscape. Satterfield is also your grill headquarters with Big Green Egg Grill and our pros service everything in-house and back up all sales. Get the Satterfield Outdoor difference on Highway 280 right across from Tallapoosa Ford. Passion, the obsession that burns within. Determination, the burning desire to make it. Drive, the motivation to be the absolute best. Skills, the tools to perform at the highest level. Excellence, the feeling of achievement. At Central Alabama Community College, you can release your passion, show your determination, display your drive, and showcase your skills to achieve excellence. Central Alabama Community College, central to you, central to your success. Since 1908, many talented tradesmen and women have proudly represented the Dixie Electric Plumbing and Air name. We are grateful for their commitment to excellence, always providing our clients with quality work that we're glad to guarantee you with 100% satisfaction. No matter the problem, the Dixie Electric team is here for you, serving the Montgomery and Auburn areas. Thank you for choosing a locally owned company. For more information, go to calldixie.com. Call Dixie and it's done. Hillaby Towers is an affordable senior citizens community located in Alexander City on Highway 22 East. Spacious one bedrooms are available now. Great location, peaceful setting, comfortable living where pets are allowed and utilities are included. Call today to find out more information on Alexander City's best kept secret, 256-329-0552. That's Hillaby Towers in Alexander City. Karen Chanel, your State Farm agent in Alexander City, Alabama and the greater Lake Martin area. I want to talk to you a little bit today about your discounts. How many of you are entitled to discounts that you may or may not be receiving? One of the easiest discounts on your homeowner's insurance is that of having a fire extinguisher. Coupled with a deadbolt lock and a smoke alarm, that gives you an automatic discount on your homeowner's policy. Russell Dewitt Center and Building Supply Stores have the tools and materials to get the job done right, whether you're a professional contractor or just a weekend do-it-yourselfer. With everyday customer conveniences like a drive through lumber yard, price match promise, and our best rewards program, each of our nine locations offer top brands and building materials like lumber, hardware, tools, paint, lawn and garden, and much more. Visit today and see what Russell Dewitt Center and Building Supply can help you build tomorrow. The all-new Triple R Cafe in Rockford is open and the place for true Southern-style cooking. Open Tuesday through Saturday in downtown Rockford on US 231. The Triple R Cafe serves up true Southern cooking with a meat and three for lunch. And on Friday and Saturday, get the best dinners in the area with fresh from the garden vegetables. Guff-style scallops and shrimp and bayou-style alligator. Central Alabama's new place for Southern-style cooking with a down-home atmosphere. That's the all-new Triple R Cafe in downtown Rockford. As the heat of summer fades and cooler temperatures come calling, we look forward to that feeling of fall. It's the perfect time to be outdoors with family and friends and a great time to be alive. Make sure your heart is ready for the season with an appointment at the UAB Heart and Vascular Clinic at Russell Medical. I'm Dr. Kevin Sublett and our entire clinic is dedicated to keeping your heart healthy. We're right here in your own community and backed by the knowledge and expertise of UAB Medicine. Make an appointment today by calling 256-234-2644 or visit uabmedicine.org slash heart Russell. Yep. Fourth and 10, 30 seconds to go. Wildcats inside the 15 down around the 12. They can get a first down inside the three. 
30 seconds to go here before half. Gabe will be by himself in the shotgun, going to roll out to the right. Steps, plants, goes into the end zone, touchdown, Sedarian Morgan. They flooded it down here to the bottom, and Sedarian Morgan was wide open on the baseline of the end zone, so the Wildcats cash it in for a touchdown. It's 34 to six, extra point coming up. We get the ball to start the second half, so let's see if we can get a two for one here. And maybe try to scratch back in the game. First three possessions were three and outs, nine plays, and about two and a half minutes off the clock. That was a lot better. Great pass, Brett. Back, great back of the end zone. Oh, hey, man, I tell you, our Let's see. It's going to be on all sides against Homewood. But did they flooded it? You were exactly right. Had three receivers: Foster, Simmons, and Sedarian Morgan. I thought he's going to go out to Simmons on the right corner, but right. Uh, holds on for about another second. Good roll of the pocket by Gabe and finding Sedarian coming across the back of the end zone. See if Micah can put it through. Let's get a good snap and hold. Get this thing to 34 to seven. Hot snap the place. Mm. Kick is on the end. Another flag. penalty. Another penalty flag. Yeah, Maybe all sides again. We'll see. No, I think it's going to be on us this time. Thirty-four to six. That is four consecutive. Actually, three out of four games we've missed our first extra point. I think we hit it at Calera. No, I don't think we're going to decline that one. So it's all size. We're gonna get a chance to do this one again. I'm feeling Chad tonight. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of discussion going on. Well, out there. I don't the know field. why we even came off the field right there. And they sent. Well, he just gave a decline signal. At, let's try it again. Third times the charm. Twenty-five seconds. Snap the place, kick is up, kick's good. 34 to seven, 25 seconds to go here. Before half, the Wildcats do get the ball to start the second half. So look at it from that standpoint. If you can go down guys and score. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can cut it to 20. You know, if you come back and I mean, you're within three scores at that point with the rest of the football game left to play. So you got to take it one step at a time. but. Did cash that in, Sedarian, good to see him get in the mix there yes. and, and cap that off and uh, and score that touchdown on fourth down, guys. It was fourth yeah. down and 10 and um, had to get something out of it, and we did. Let's see if we can get to the locker room without giving them anything else. <clears throat> Got to keep an eye on six. Yep. You know, Lavender's their playmaker, and they have found matchups that they like <clears throat> with him. Maybe six or seven pass attempts in the first half for Homewood. Right. That feel about right to you, Coach. And uh, but yeah, uh, they really haven't needed to. Been able to run the football pretty much at will. You know the thing that I've observed when when we throw the ball across the middle of the field in the 10 to 15 yard range, we really loosen defenses up, and that that's there a lot of times with Foster and even David Lawson, and you saw that several times on that drive. Murphy's kickoff is going to go out of bounds. Twenty-five seconds to go, and they have the ball at thirty-five. You know they have big play capability, so you got to watch it. Quarterback's a gamer. He's he's got a, a yes. live arm. Uh, has run the football well in the first half. Got a couple of really good receivers out there on the perimeter. You know they've scored um, pretty good amount of points. Lost by two touchdowns to Helena but did score three times. I think they lost 34 to 21 in that football game. 
And Helena right now, that's the closest game they've had. They've run away from everyone. Jordan Washington back there running back. And, uh, well, good like job. just going to try to go to the locker room here and don't blame them up. 34 to 7. And Wildcats here on homecoming night, not the start they wanted, but, man, just disastrous. Three and outs, the first three drives, they score in the first three possessions. So, we dug ourselves a hole. Wildcats do get some positive momentum going into the locker room with that touchdown drive to get on the board, 34 to seven. We will take the yes. Talpoose Ford timeout. We come back, it'll be the Patterson truck and towing halftime show. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. Folks around these parts have known for a long time that Walls Tire, just a mile past the bridge on Highway 280 is your number one stop for automotive service and repair. At Walls Tire, you'll always find quality service at a fair price on everything from AC, name brand tires, big or small repairs, routine maintenance, towing, and more. When your car or truck needs to run right, there's one place in the area to go, conveniently located and easy to find. Walls Tire, just a mile past the bridge on Highway 280. I'm used to living alone, taking care of myself, Mr. Independent. But every now and then, I need a little help. My kids aren't close and I want to stay in my own home. As close as family is such a godsend. Caring professionals here to help me with all the little things. Taking care of the house and myself, keeping me looking sharp, feeling sharp too. Learn more at asclosesfamily.com. They really are as close as family. You don't have to ask who, what, or why. Who's Diner is the go-to place for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Conveniently located at the corner of Highway 22 and 280 in Alex City, Who's Diner offers the best meals and the best deals in town. Try our fresh made-from-scratch pancakes, chicken salad, Philly cheesesteak, or the Who Burger. It doesn't get any better than Who? Who's Diner, of course, on the corner of Highway 22 and 280. Who's Hungry? Hi, this is Andrew McGreer at Dunning Roofing. At Dunning Roofing, we specialize in high-quality, premium roofs. We don't build roofs that just meet code requirements. We build quality roofs with premium materials that significantly exceed our competitors' warranties. We put money on your roof, not in our pockets. If you're looking for a top-quality roof, call Dunning Roofing today for your free quote at 256-307-7601 or visit us at dunningroofingal.com for more information. Grace's Flowers on Hillaby Street in Alexander City is all fall festive. And you'll fall in love with the girls at Grace's beautiful fall decor with artificial and live plants. Yellow, brown, tan, and gold colors that will brighten your home or business. Keep Grace's number 256-234-4238 handy for sending flowers or an arrangement to that special person. That's 256 234 4238 for Graces. We'll see you real soon. Lake Area Realty specializes in Lake Martin real estate. They can help simplify your next real estate purchase or sell and have helped many home buyers and sellers through the area buy and sell real estate with precision. Lake Area Realty utilizes powerful marketing tools and knowledge of the lake to help you with your next move. Call your local hometown agency today. Lake Area Realty at 256-825-4800. That's 256-825-4800. Lake Area Realty help and you find your way home. Russell DeWitt Center and Building Supply Stores have the tools and materials to get the job done right, whether you're a professional contractor or just a weekend do-it-yourselfer. With everyday customer conveniences like a drive through lumber yard, price match promise, and our best rewards program, each of our nine locations offer top brands and building materials like lumber, hardware, tools, paint, lawn and garden, and much more. Visit today and see what Russell DeWitt Center and Building Supply can help you build tomorrow. Ants, spiders, roaches, termites, bed bugs, oh my. Let Top Gun Pest Control protect your home and family. Don't be bugged any longer. Not only can Top Gun Pest Control eliminate your bug problems, they can also handle moisture control issues, powder post beetles, fungus, and are certified to install vapor barriers, encapsulations, and dehumidifiers. Top Gun Pest Control, servicing Alex City, Daveville, Sylacauga, Auburn, Opelika, and the surrounding area. Call Top Gun Pest Control today at 256-414-8309. 
Jeremy Worthy with Worthy Plumbing and Construction is carrying on a great family tradition, proudly serving the Lake Martin area and doing new construction, plumbing repairs, remodels, and a whole lot more. So keep this number handy, 205-936-4705. That's Worthy Plumbing and Construction. Again, the number to call is 205-936-4705. That's Mr. Jeremy Worthy. Toe and halftime show is not the score we want to report. It's 34 to 7 Homewood at halftime. And here on homecoming night, the Homewood Patriot Marching Band just out on the field performing outstandingly. They are one of the better bands in the country. Um, 250 plus members strong. And uh, uh, you just Brett, look at they've got they got 30 in the flag corps. They've got 30 dancers. Oh yeah. Um, Probably 200 band members out here, and I can remember seeing them, and they do a lot of pregame and postgame stuff. Oh, yeah. has always impressed me, especially when we're on the road against them, the way that they kind of come toward the sideline. And um, we got some great bands in the state of Alabama. There's none better than the one we've got out here performing right now. No doubt about it. And, uh, again, um, good program all the way around, good high school in Homewood. And, uh Usually the games that we have with Homewood are, are a lot better than this one. And, you know, it, I, I can't think of really anything other than us getting off to a uh, bad start offensively with three, three and outs. And they were able to take the ball and run it down the field, primarily not having to throw it and scoring touchdowns. But uh, we didn't help our defense, which was on its heels majority of that first quarter, uh, yeah. giving them the football back and, and them able to drive it down and score. But did get some points there, guys, right before halftime. Took the football. Actually put together a really good drive. We get the football to start the second half. Guys, you know, all you can do is chip away. And, you know, if, if you are able to go down and score out of the break, it's, in, in, it's 34-14. You're, you're back to a three-score game with two full quarters to go. I mean, so uh, if you can make some adjustments on defense, and, you know, I think if you're in that locker room right now, I think Coach Simmons is going – I don't know if we can play any worse on defense. So, I think we can come back. They made some adjustments against Central Clay they and did. forced no first downs yeah. there in the third. It gave us a chance to get back in the sure ball game. Did. So, you know, the game's not over. Uh, yeah. I, I think that was a very, very bad first half. Obviously, uh, that's an understatement. And I think the coaches and the players would agree. So, you just got to erase that. And you got to come back and uh, try to try to claw yourself back into this game. What it reminds me a lot of what we saw against Central Clay. I mean, it was just sheer domination on the lines of scrimmage on both sides of the football, especially their offensive line matched up with our defensive line. And we did. We found a way to get Central Clay out of that wishbone in the second half. And for us three up here that know a lot about Coach Horn, if you can get them out of the wishbone, it's a win. And a uh, so we did that. Yeah. And hopefully, here in the second half, we can find a way to get some matchups that we like on their with our defensive line, with our offensive line, because they're not being real imaginative out there on the offensive side. And you've called a lot of plays over your time. Coach Coleman, I think uh, anybody can go out there and call what you're seeing right now. Oh, no doubt. I mean, listen, like Brett said, the thing is, we can score fast on offense if you get it together. Yeah. And we need to take away the ball on defense. You know, one thing that I looked at, the first possession we had, they had scored. And it was third down and six, and we went over the top to Malcolm the ball. There was some contact at midfield, but it yep. was tipped. Malcolm catches that pass. He, yeah. He's gone. It's it's probably tied, or we take a one-point lead if we kick an extra point. But nevertheless, you have to turn around and punt the football, and they drive down and they score again. It's, it's a game of inches. I know that's a cliche statement in football, yeah. but we're just missing on some things like we did in the first half of Central Clay, and, and Homewood was able to capitalize on that and play about a perfect first half. So – uh, let's see what can happen coming back in, you know, into the third quarter. The first five minutes are key. If the Wildcats are going to get back in this yep. game, you're going to know it really quickly, guys. So we're going to go ahead and take a break here on the Patterson Truck Parts and towing halftime show. We come back, it'll be homecoming festivities here for Benjamin Russell. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. Opelika.info. Get pre approved in minutes online at gillsopelika.info for a pre owned car, truck, or SUV from Gills Auto Sales, 1430 Gateway Drive in Opelika. Something big is coming. Something so big it'll change the world. 
of chicken sandwiches. Zaxby's new signature sandwich with Zax sauce or new spicy Zax sauce because the chicken sandwich war ain't over yet. The new signature sandwich. All the other little sandwiches can run along. We'll take it from here. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center provides optimum care for the whole person. Dr. Demo Popov specializes in the prevention and diagnosis of high blood pressure, kidney disease, diabetes, and acute and chronic conditions. Our weight loss clinic offers lipo shots and a guide to healthy weight loss. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center, where lifestyle changes are made. iFoam is independently owned and is your spray foam insulation solution for the Lake Martin area. iFoam offers the latest and greatest in air leak assessments and spray foam insulation to keep your home and office comfortable no matter the season. Foamy says call for an estimate today at 334-367-4795. That's 334-367-4795. J.A. Smith Construction is your trusted choice for construction site clearing and grading for new home construction, underground utilities and site work, concrete paving, storm drain installation, fish ponds, and slough dredging. No job is too big or too small. Call Alexander at J.A. Smith Construction at 256-896-1400 or email asmith at jasmithconstruct.com. J.A. Smith Construction, your trusted choice for construction. Lewis Pest Control is now serving Alexander City and the entire Lake Martin area. They've been family owned and operated for over 60 years. Whether it's residential, commercial, or industrial, Lewis has environmentally safe products for all your pest control needs. Lewis Pest Control. Play your best to rest. Call the best. Lewis Pest Control. For over 80 years, the staff members of Radney and Langley Funeral Home have been friends in time of need, and we are dedicated to honoring, sharing, and preserving the amazing and inspirational stories of life. Not wasted. Not trashed. Not thrown away. Not junk. Saved. Saved. Repaired. And restored. I am renewed. When you donate used goods to the Salvation Army, you're giving the greatest gift, a second chance to those who need it most. Donating couldn't be easier or more urgent. Visit satruck.org for a donation center near you or call 1-800-SA-TRUCK for free pickup. 76% of nurses say they went into the profession because they wanted to help patients. No matter the reason you decided to become a nurse, you have all the tools needed to advance your degree at Jacksonville State University. Our Master's in Nursing program is now offered fully online and can be completed in less than two years. You can customize a flexible course schedule so you can receive your advanced education degree all while working on the front line. JSU Nursing, your opportunity to advance your career and serve your community. Also, Caden is a member of the varsity football team and the varsity track team. After graduation, Caden plans on attending Tuskegee University. The 2023 Miss BRHS is Miss Brantley Calhoun. Brantley is the daughter of Chad and Leanne Calhoun. At BRHS, she serves as the SGA Senior Class President, Varsity Cheer Captain, and the Varsity Soccer Captain. Brantley is also a member of the National Honor Society, Key Club, and the Wildcat Pals. After high school, she plans to attend Auburn University. And now for this year's BRHS Class Maid. Our 2023 freshman maid is Cheyenne Fuller. <laughs> Cheyenne
Cheyenne is the daughter of Will and Jessica Fuller. Tonight, Cheyenne is escorted by her father, Will Fuller. This year's sophomore maid is Coven Holt. Coven is the daughter of Caleb and Corley Holt. Tonight, Coven is escorted by her father, Caleb Holt. Our 2023 junior maid is Romiliana McKinney. Romiliana is the daughter of Quinetta Brooks and Randall McKinney. Tonight, she is escorted by her grandfather, Lebronski Salter. This year's senior maid is Anaya Buchanan. Anaya is the daughter of Arkea Robinson and Anthony Buchanan. Tonight, she is escorted by her father, Anthony Buchanan. Let's hear it for our 23 class maid. And now let's meet the candidates for the 2023 homecoming queen. Our first homecoming queen nominee is Miss Mia Burton. Mia is the daughter of Janice Norris and Demario Burton. Tonight, Mia is escorted by her father, Demario Burton. At BRHS, Mia is a member of the varsity cheerleading team and the varsity track and field team. After graduation, Mia plans to attend UAB and major in nursing. The second queen nominee is Miss Katie Davis. Katie is the daughter of Stacy and Blair Davis. Tonight, she is escorted by her father, Stacy Davis. At BRHS, Katie is a member of the varsity volleyball team, varsity softball team, SGA senior class treasurer, National Honor Society, Wildcat Pals, and Key Club. After graduation, she plans to attend Southern Union and major in radiology. Our third homecoming queen nominee is Miss Andy Fox. Andy is the daughter of Jeff and Kathy Fox. Tonight, she is escorted by her father, Jeff Fox. At BRHS, Andy is a member of Varsity Cheer, SGA Senior Class Secretary, National Honor Society, and Key Club. After graduation, she plans to attend Auburn University and major in interior design. The fourth homecoming queen nominee is Miss Tynasia Harrell. Tynasia is the daughter of Latoya Marbury and Leon Harrell. Tonight, she is escorted by her stepfather, Tavares Lauderdale. At BRHS, Tynasia is a member of Skills USA. And after high school, she plans to attend UAB and major in nursing. Our fifth homecoming queen nominee is Miss Kennedy Tate. <laughs> Kennedy is the daughter of Brian and Candy Tate. Tonight she is escorted by her father, Brian Tate. At BRHS, she is captain of the varsity volleyball team and the captain of the varsity soccer team. Kennedy serves as the SGA senior class vice president, a member of Key Club, Wildcat Pals, and the National Honor Society. After graduation, she plans to attend Auburn University and major in civil engineering. And now, the 2023 BRHS homecoming queen is Miss Mia Burton.
At this time, please stand for the alma mater. And there you heard it. Mia Burton is your 2023 Miss Homecoming here at Benjamin Russell High School. Congratulations to Mia and all of the nominees and the maids and the class favorites and everybody that was selected here. We're going to take a break. We come back. It'll be the second half. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with the service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. Guaranteed lowest price. Buy it at Bice. Bice Motors. This is Joseph Dean with Alabama Funeral Homes. As many of you are aware, we had a fire that significantly damaged our facilities. We were in the process of getting those rebuilt. We apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused the families that we serve. I want you to know that we are capable of handling all of your needs at Frederick Dean Funeral Home of Opelika, which will be servicing Alabama Funeral Homes families. We can be reached at our same number, 256-896-4502, or by email at joseph at alabamafuneralhomes.com. Passion, the obsession that burns within. Determination, the burning desire to make it. Drive, the motivation to be the absolute best. Skills, the tools to perform at the highest level. Excellence, the feeling of achievement. At Central Alabama Community College, you can release your passion, show your determination, display your drive, and showcase your skills to achieve excellence. Central Alabama Community College. Central to you. Central to your success. Don't you put that fire out. I'm talking about Fire Truck Barbecue has brand new hours in downtown Alexander City. 1030 to 5. That's 1030 to 5. Monday through Friday. You're talking about good food, vegetables, and all the meats, and the cornbread. And they cater also year-round at Fire Truck Barbecue. So if you've never been, check it out today, 1030 to 5, Monday through Friday, downtown LX City. At Russell Medical, we're proud of our exceptional nurses, like Nurse Brandy Worthy. Brandy represents the selfless, compassionate clinical leader patients expect and coworkers admire. Brandy was recently honored with the Nightingale Award for nursing excellence for her high standards, sound judgment, and caring manner. Her passion for her profession inspires us all. Being a nurse is not just what you do, it's who you are. I'm proud to be a part of the nursing team at Russell Medical. We are the link between all hospital services, providing you with exceptional, personalized care. Have you met your local farmer's insurance agent, Patrick Holina? He proudly serves Tallapoosa County and Alexander City families and businesses and is ready to review your existing policies or provide a no-obligation quote today. Call the Holina Agency at 256-234-0037 or stop in today at 704 Commerce Drive to get smarter about your insurance. Again, that's the Holina Agency, 256-234-0037. We are farmers. Underwritten by Farmers, Truck Fire Insurance Exchanges and Affiliates. Products not available in every state. The all-new Triple R Cafe in Rockford is open and the place for true Southern-style cooking. Open Tuesday through Saturday in downtown Rockford on US 231. The Triple R Cafe serves up true Southern cooking with a meat and three for lunch. And on Friday and Saturday, get the best dinners in the area with fresh from the garden vegetables. Guff-style scallops and shrimp and bayou-style alligator. Central Alabama's new place for Southern-style cooking with a down-home atmosphere. That's the all-new Triple R Cafe in downtown Rockford. Opa like a Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram at 801 Columbus Parkway in Opelika has a massive inventory of quality pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Every make, every model. Quality pre-owned vehicles are available at Opelika Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram. Located at 801 Columbus Parkway in Opelika and online at OpelikaFordChrysler.com. Welcome back, everyone, to the Wildcat Football Network. Wildcats uh, will get the ball to start the second half. Uh, Mia Burton, your 2023 homecoming queen, so congratulations to Mia and uh, everybody that was nominated and all the uh, class maids and class favorites. Great parade this afternoon through downtown Alex City. It's been a beautiful weather week here in Alex City, and uh, 
felt good before kickoff. And, man, first half just did not go our way at all. But able to score a touchdown right there before half. We get the ball to start the second half. You'd love to see a drive. Got to have touches by number zero, guys. Zero has got to get involved in this football game. And uh, he's a playmaker. He's one of the top recruits in the state for a reason. He touches the football. Most of the time he scores, it seems like. And um, he's got to get some touches. He needs a lot of touches here in the second half. Well, two kickoff returns uh, for about 28 yards, and that's the only touches he had. Uh, they did try to find him a few times in the passing game, but very well defended down the field. And Got to find a way, I don't care if it's a running back <clears> or wherever, uh, to put the football in Zero's hands and see if uh, he can make some plays to get this football team back in it. But you're not going to get back in it if you don't stop their <clears> offense. And there in the first half, Coach Coleman, it was whatever Homewood wanted to do offensively, they did it. Yeah, no doubt. I mean – we would win man to man most of the first half, and they abused us. I mean, they motioned and ran by, right behind the ma our motion man. I mean, I think I hope at halftime we made adjustments. You, you know, here's a Glenn Smith Chevrolet second half kickoff going to be fielded at the five. Going to bring it out. Come on, big play. Across the twenty, found a little bit of a hole and turned the corner down Ooh. the sideline and. That's uh, Lejavius Calhoun ran it across. Wildcats will start first and 10, decent field position there. Here to start this third quarter to see what the Wildcats can do. Maybe get settled back in. This is a Homewood team that's given up a lot of points this year. Uh, each game uh, gave up 36 to John Carroll, gave up 46 to Vestavia. Vestavia gave up uh, 30, 34 to Helena. Helena. Helena and then gave up 26 to 21 to Calera. I thought it was 40, 43, 5, 21. Tw okay, 43, yep. 21. So, but three scores plus to all yeah. those teams. And um, so you, you'd like to see us try to get it. And we did get the passing game going yeah. on that last drive, and hopefully we can continue it here. First and 10 at our 29. They're going to show a little bit of a. Oh, wow. My gosh. I don't even know how to call that. It'll be a false start and go backwards and. They show a blitz, and we get a guy kind of leaning, and he just went on down. Yeah. So, uh, five-yard penalty is not, the, not what we were looking for there. So, first and 15. Shotgun snap. Going to hand off to TJ over the left side across the 25 up to the 26-yard line. 11.40 and counting here in the third, just underway. Wildcats get the football here to start, see if they can go down and get a score. Sedarian Morgan with a lone touchdown there in the first half on a pass from Gabe Benton. Shotgun formation. Second down and 13. Gabe, a handoff up the middle. One thing I am right. noticing is they do have man coverage down here to Malcolm. The guy yeah. that's running with him can run with him, though. Uh, he's he's not. It doesn't mean he can't work a, a double I, move well, or make a say, play, yeah. but but you can tell there's a lot of speed down here at corner for Homewood, too. Uh, Malcolm does have him size-wise, and he's very wide. So we keep pointing to him, trying to find <laughs> ways to get it. And, but I have watched, and their corner can really run. Third down and 13. Shotgun snap, Gabe. Going to step up, air it down the field, looking for Malcolm. And, I mean, he's grabbing the back of his jersey and no call. He was beat. He, he yeah. was beat, Deep no doubt. Post play. Malcolm's really good at turning it on once the football's in the air. Right. Brett. He's got that separation speed when he wants to turn it to a into a different gear. And, and I'm and I'm all for that. I mean, I'm trying. You know, I I, I hear you. You got to score. And you got to get back into it. another three and out. Oh, we got to move the chains. And I know it was third and thirteen, but that's the exact, exact same way we started the first half. Well, the the, same, you know, same drive. We missed in that Central Clay game where he was well behind the defender. Right. Well, my yeah. point is that high snap. Man. 
Got, Malcolm's going to take off and run with it in open field. He's got it. 30, 35, 40, 45 midfield. Cuts back inside. What a move. 40, 35, 30, 25. Cuts back. What a move. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown. Malcolm Simmons said, let me just do it myself. I got an idea. Give got, him the football. I, I told Wes Coleman during one of the breaks, and I don't mind saying it right here, I got an idea offensively. Put zero at Wildcat, snap it to him, and forget the rest of the playbook. <laughs> Just snap it back to him. How many cutbacks did he have there? About six or eight. Yeah. Past the midfield stripe. And I don't know that that was called, Brett. It may no, have it, been. I think Malcolm just said, I've had enough. Yep. I'm about to take this opportunity with the football in his hands. And it was a it was a poor snap I mean, I, back. Why does it take 10-24? A little snap, sneak you, right up it. the middle. We got it. Uh-huh. Two-point conversion's good. Yep. Yeah, quick pass over to Caleb Spivey, I think. There's a penalty flag in the backfield, and I don't know what they're they're looking at or, or watching, and I think they got caught off guard. Yeah, I don't think they – yeah, so, that's, there's no problem yeah, with that. I don't, why you know, they drop a penalty flag? Well, we used to run the swinging gate here during Coach Sav's era, and you remember it well, Brett, and we'd run the swinging gate, and we'd yeah. call – Certain things out of that I held the whole time. And, you know, we would call where the center would just stand up and throw right. the football. And right here we have a swinging gate to right. the left. <clears throat> Caleb Spivey, our big defensive end as a freshman, lined up right behind the swinging gate. Just stand up, throw the football over there to him. Everybody go forward. And Caleb used that 220-pound frame to go forward too and uh, well, gets it into well, the end zone. Let's recap. High snap. Malcolm looks up to the right, and that's why – you got one of the most dangerous players in the state of Alabama in the southeast back there punting. He can punt at 70 yards. But if he sees green grass, I think Coach Grider probably said, look, if you see, you can make the play go. Yep. And, man, when he gets in open field, it, it causes so many problems. And most people aren't going to – they'll get a first down, but they're not going to score on that play. And he, he's he's a tremendous player. Is that his first touch offensively? It's his first touch. And that wasn't yeah. offensively. He was no, punting the football. No. Well, what is That's it right. considered, though? Is it considered well, an become, offensive touch if he runs the football a, no, on fourth it's a down? Though? Special teams. Well, it is. Yeah, I, yeah. Think, I think so. it's just a rush, yeah, though, offensively. Rush. I mean, but you're lined up in a punt formation. No, so I it's don't really, no, It wasn't a play yeah. that was designed to go to him. It was a punt. I get <clears> that, but I think it's going to in the well, I mean, in the book show as his first touch <clears> offensively. Yeah, yeah. And, he, and he took it 80 yards for a touchdown. I just think you're doing a favor to any team we play by not putting him in you know, Wildcat you, snap. I agree, I agree. Times. Kick off down here, bounces to the 15, and we gave up the edge down here. Yeah. He stepped yeah, out of bounds, but out. I'm going to tell you something, man. We had one guy, he got out of his lane down here. Should have forced him back inside. Instead, he went to the inside, and he cut outside. But it's 34 to 15, 10-18. We're back in the football game, guys. Yeah. Defense has got to come out. Love to get a three and out. Love to get a stop, whatever it is, and get the stop. ball back in our, our offense's hands. And, look, we're, again, we're not coaches, but it's about as obvious as the nose on your face. If you have Malcolm Simmons or a player like him, he's got to touch the football. Well, it would be like Tyree <clears throat> Gray playing football for you and not touching it for a half. I mean, right. I, you've got to almost go into the locker room and say, let's just change this whole thing up. And, uh, luckily, right there, Malcolm makes a play on his own. Myers in the – Pistol formation, going to hand off, and broke a tackle, going to be stopped just shy of the 40. So, it picked up about four, four and a half. So, you know, the, the tough <clears> part for us here is we've got a new defensive line and getting some plays for the first time, big number 75, first time I've seen him in. And uh, you can run that down, Brett. But um, they're just getting great push on our defensive front and uh, making it so tough for us. Number 75 listed as Vontae Trailer again, another ninth grader. Three of the four we got out there, ninth graders. Second down and six, big hole up the middle, and going to be short of a first down. Going to be, man, what a spot. The line judge down, that's that same guy. He's flipped the side of the field, man. He likes to give you plus yardage. But this line judge had the call down here. He's going to be about two yards short. So third down and two. Hey, it's a big play big, right here. Big play right here. 9.25 right. to go here in the third quarter. A big play right here for our defense. Myers will be in the shotgun with two up to the top, one to the bottom here. Scrimging from their 43. There's the snap. Going to hand it off, and he got it just yeah. across the 45. Another and tackle in there by Jai Hicks. 
You know, the problem with Jai making as many tackles as he is is four or five yards down the field. He did, he did fight his way in there to try to get behind the line there, Brett. But um, Jai's played well. I know you look at the scoreboard and you'd say, man, is anybody playing good defense for us? You know, we got some linebackers making a lot of stops. They're having to make all the tackles. They are. 34-15, 8.51 to go here in the third quarter. First and 10, a little swing pass, almost had it right there. Looked like oh. a little hold out there on the corner. They didn't call it, but Caden read it. Man, I thought he might pick it off right there, but actually picked up seven yards on the play there. But guys, it's back to a 19 point game. I mean, it's, you know, defense gonna have to find a way to stop them. Yeah. They didn't stop them at all in the first half. We need that turn up. Turn yeah, up yeah, you're right. Just need a turnover, we need do. to call something a change in momentum play to kind of get something going on our side. But yeah. Myers will be second and four from the 47. Send a man in motion right to left. Takes the shotgun snap, gonna hand it off. Actually, he's gonna keep it this time and pound it ahead for another first down. We just, just outmatched guys. Not much you can say about it. Doing all we can do and they have the advantage up front. And yeah. you know, when you got a lead like this, you're doing exactly what you should do is run the football because incomplete passes stop the clock. And uh, until they, until we show that we can stymie them up front, there's not much we can do on it. So, hey, but you got to get maybe kind of sell out, maybe see if you can get a negative play. Um, they haven't been behind the chains, but maybe once or twice all game. And, Brett, when you're running <clears throat> wedge plays right up the middle, everybody merge inside, right. block forward, running backs, everybody blocking straight ahead. There's, It's hard to get a, yeah, you can't a get positive one. play behind the line. You're right, you're right. Because you can slant all you want from the, <clears throat> from the outside. That's it's true. not going to do any good. It's true, and there's a, a timeout there by Homewood with 7.17 to go. We'll take – a towel piece of four timeout with them. 34 15. That's your new Karen Chanel State Farm Insurance score. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. GillsOpalica.info. Get pre approved in minutes online at GillsOpalica.info. For a pre owned car, truck, or SUV from Gills Auto Sales, 1430 Gateway Drive in Opelika. So you want to build a home? Build the home you want with America's Home Place. Choose from over 150 floor plans, then personalize. Tile backsplash with granite countertops? Done. A spacious bathroom you've always dreamed of? You got it. Choose every detail, floors, cabinets, even the paint color. How about electric lime? Can't decide? Relax. At America's Home Place, we take care of it all. It's your home. Own it. America's Home Place. I'm used to living alone, taking care of myself, Mr. Independent. But every now and then, I need a little help. My kids aren't close and I want to stay in my own home. As close as family is such a godsend. Caring professionals here to help me with all the little things. Taking care of the house and myself, keeping me looking sharp, feeling sharp too. Learn more at asclosesfamily.com. They really are as close as family. Since 1908, many talented tradesmen and women have proudly represented the Dixie Electric Plumbing and Air name. We are grateful for their commitment to excellence, always providing our clients with quality work that we're glad to guarantee you with 100% satisfaction. No matter the problem, the Dixie Electric team is here for you, serving the Montgomery and Auburn areas. Thank you for choosing a locally owned company. For more information, go to calldixie.com. Call Dixie. Karen Chanel, your State Farm agent in Alexander City, Alabama and the greater Lake Martin area. I want to talk to you a little bit today about your discounts. How many of you are entitled to discounts that you may or may not be receiving? One of the easiest discounts on your homeowner's insurance is that of having a fire extinguisher. Coupled with a deadbolt lock and a smoke alarm, that gives you an automatic discount on your homeowner's policy. Ellen Shelton Gregg is so excited to be in her brand new location with Picket Fence downtown Alexander City on Calhoun Street. Open Monday through Saturday from 10 to 6. Original, unique household items, vintage books, vintage sporting goods, vinyl, vintage and antique furniture, original artwork, lake decor, 
just to mention a few things. Come on by today at Picket Fence, downtown Alexander City. We are Debt Relief Agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the Bankruptcy Code. This is Marcia Mason, your local Lake Martin Bankruptcy and Social Security Disability Attorney. Mason Law Firm is located at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Call 256-329-1313 to schedule your appointment today. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. Sun Agent Cuisine, 993 Airport Drive in Alexander City. Open Monday through Wednesday, 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Thursday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Closed Sundays. With occasional entertainment and drinks with a bite. Great food like shrimp and rice. Sesame chicken with stir-fried veggies, just to name a few. Call 256-392-4446. Sarath and Sun say, we look forward to seeing you. If you've got $29, you've got the down payment for a brand new Nissan. Now at Sarah Nissan, three locations. Every vehicle, just $29 down, plus 0% financing for 60 months. 700 new Nissans, and you get a lifetime warranty, no charge. 0% financing for 60 months. Every vehicle, just $29 down. Now at Sarah Nissan in Birmingham and Sylacauga, plus Tony Sarah Nissan in Coleman. 34-15, Wildcats trail it here on homecoming against Homewood, 7-17. First and 10, Homewood at the Wildcat 42-yard line. Myers will be in the shotgun, one back beside him, trips down here to the bottom as they move right to left. One lone receiver to the top, they send a man in motion. That's illegal. He, yeah. he was going toward the line of scrimmage. Yeah. That's an illegal, that's illegal procedure if I've ever seen it. He went downhill two yards. Yeah. Pass is incomplete, but 80 went from, from two yards back behind the line of scrimmage to the line of scrimmage and no penalty flag. So uh, incomplete brings up second down and 10. Any passes are a plus. <clears throat> yes, you're right. Beg for them to throw the football. Second down and 10. <clears throat> They will try to throw again. He's under pressure. He throws it up. Man. Pass. Oh, come on. They throw a penalty flag on a ball that's 20 yards overthrown. Yeah. That's unbelievable. It's absolutely a terrible call from the back judge. There's no way. He just threw it up. He got hit immediately, and the back judge throws a penalty flag for pass interference. It's unbelievable. Actually going to call it holding. Mm. Wow. That was going to be an incomplete pass any way you spin it. Gives them a first down. Yep. 708, moving the football down to our 32 yard line. That was going to be third and ten guys coming up, and they'd thrown two consecutive pass plays. And we blitzed and got to him. Yeah, hey, sure he did. was hit, hit as hard. soon as he threw the football. Yeah. And now they're going to go back They'll run to the, the ground. Go to the ground game. Yeah, absolutely. They dodged two bullets. And in motion right here. Going to hand off up the middle. Got him right there. It's a line of balls loose. We look like we fell on it. That is a fumble. Trust me, that is a fumble. That side's judge over there on Homewood oh, side. That is, there is no that, chance. He can, how did he see that? How did the guy on that side, the ball was on this side? I'm telling you, man. It's not sour grapes because you got beat, beat up in the first half. That's some just bad calls. Second down and nine, one yard on the play. That ball was out. They're going to throw it. Myers, step up, stumbles around, going to get hit, put down. Back here Fumble. at 35. No, my. He got what out of that world? somehow. Put him on the ground up here at the 30, finally. I mean, he was all the way dead to rights back here around the 36, 37. And that's twice he's squirted out of it. But it's third down and eight coming up. 
Inside the 30 at the 29 with 6.02 to go. Big play here Come on. on this drive. Randy surprisingly tried to go to there. I don't have any <clears throat> idea why. I mean, I'm just so glad that they're throwing the football yeah, because. Yeah. Me too. You know, I mean, Jai Hicks has <clears throat> played a well of a football game, but outside of Jai making some tackles anywhere yeah. near the line of scrimmage, that's, we go. that's the only ones we Option got. Option keep, missed it. He pitched it out anyway. Going to get him out at the 25. He's short. So it'll be fourth down and about three, and they'll probably keep their offense on the field, I would think, with 522 and counting. Coach Grider looking for a hole behind the play. Well, it has been, Randy. It, it was. Uh, I mean, back here, I mean, you could almost say it every time, but they didn't throw the flag. But we need a stop here with fourth down and four. The clock rolling, too. We'll roll under five minutes to go in the third. Wildcats yeah. trail 34 to 15. Even if they do go, don't get points here, Brett. I know. Hey. They run a lot of clock. Well, we need Big to stop right, right here. here. Big play. Fourth Good. down and four. They snap it, pull it. He's under pressure. And that was. No. no. Yeah, he got oh, it yeah. at 20. Yep, first down. Yep. I mean, that was a little. Yeah, a little waggle. Wag They're going to yep. run a little quick out, four or five yards, roll the pocket to the right, show the give to the running back that they've had success with, find an opening on the perimeter, and a nice pass by the gamer back there at quarterback. He just keeps making plays. Yeah all over the field. He's diminutive, but he's strong and sturdy, and he can do a lot of things well and uh, picks up that fourth down game. Well, what happens when you dig a hole like this is you have to play almost perfect to get back in it, and we've been trying to get a stop here and get it across the 20 down to about the 19. I did think we had a turnover there a few plays ago, and they called him down. Second down and eight, four minutes to go. Hey, look, still got to get a stop. 34-15, yeah. got to get the football back. Would love somehow to get a stop and cut it to two scores going into the fourth quarter. Second down and eight, Myers in the shotgun, trips down here to the bottom. Going to hand off the tailback, and he popped go. and driven backwards. Jai Hicks again. Oh, how many tackles he's got. I'm going to go somewhere between 12 and 14 here in this football game. And it feels like we've crept him up closer to the line of scrimmage here in the second half. I agree. He's, I agree. He's found some of those gaps that they were able to expose us with there in the first half and found a way to slow it down at least here in the second half. You save auto rental of Alex City has moved to 1185 Cherokee Road across from the Cherokee Pure. Our new offices are open, and at You Save, we're putting you back in the auto rental with personalized local service and the best rates in town. Whether your vehicle's in the shop or business or vacation travel, You Save has you covered with a large fleet of cars, SUVs, and vans. When you need a rental, call or visit You Save on Cherokee Road, where they always have you covered. At CNT Electric, our clients are our priority. For the safety and security of your family and home, our technicians are professionally trained, drug tested, background checked, and wear uniforms with name tags. We're proud to have served the Elk City, Dayville, and Lake Martin areas for the past 10 years. Give us a call at 256-234-0007 for all your electrical service and repair needs. Or visit us on the web at www.cntelectricllc.com and spell out the word AND. Tapley Appliance is now Presley Appliance and Furniture. It's all the same friendly staff. And Mike and Trevor Presley not only offer the best in appliances from Whirlpool, KitchenAid, and Maytag, but now we offer full lines of furniture from Ashley, as well as a great selection of outdoor furniture. Make sure to visit the Presley family at the all-new Presley Appliance and Furniture on Cherokee Road in Alex City. Same great service and appliances, now with a great selection of furniture for home and outdoor. 
Dean's Daylight Donuts and Cafe in downtown Alexander City. They are now serving more than hot donuts. Stop by and pick up one of their breakfast bowls with your choice of sausage, bacon, or smoked sausage on a bed of scrambled eggs, cheese, and country grits. Or try their sausage or bacon and egg croissants and add a cup of hot coffee, iced coffee, or orange juice. Dean's Daylight Donuts and Cafe, open Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Jackson Drugs on Cherokee Road in Alexander City is ready to kick the football season off. Auburn plates, towels, earrings, bracelets, picture frames and cups, Alabama trays, cups, plates, game day t-shirts and bags for both teams. Hey, Georgia Bulldog fans, we've got you covered too. Drop in today and check out our gift shop. Go team! Lake Area Realty specializes in Lake Martin real estate. They can help simplify your next real estate purchase or sell and have helped many home buyers and sellers through the area buy and sell real estate with precision. Lake Area Realty utilizes powerful marketing tools and knowledge of the lake to help you with your next move. Call your local hometown agency today. Lake Area Realty at 256-825-4800. That's 256-825-4800. Lake Area Realty, helping you find your way home. The Morris Haynes Law Firm focuses on representing those who have been injured or mistreated by the wrongful acts of others. We have offices in Ellick City and Birmingham, but we have been calling Ellick City home for over 30 years. If you find yourself in need of a lawyer, give us a call at Morris Haynes, 256-329-2000. We would be honored to help you. Let Riverbank and Trust open doors for you. Whether you're purchasing land, a lot by the lake, or building or buying a home, begin with Tallapoosa County's loan experts. They'll guide you through the entire process, providing local decision-making, prompt responses, and the best real estate loan solutions for your unique needs. And in most cases, Riverbank and Trust can close your loan in 30 days or less, and they'll walk by your side every step of the way. It's all just part of the Riverbank and Trust difference. We invite you to experience it for yourself. As the heat of summer fades and cooler temperatures come calling, we look forward to that feeling of fall. It's the perfect time to be outdoors with family and friends and a great time to be alive. Make sure your heart is ready for the season with an appointment at the UAB Heart and Vascular Clinic at Russell Medical. I'm Dr. Kevin Sutherland and our entire clinic is dedicated to keeping your heart healthy. We're right here in your own community and backed by the knowledge and expertise of UAB Medicine. Make an appointment today by calling 256-234-2644 or visit uabmedicine.org slash heart Russell. Third down and nine, Homewood. Again, the play clock is dead here. So they're having to keep that on the field. 256 and county here in real time. There's the snap. Myers under pressure, trying to say, throws the ball up. Wide open screen yeah. pass. And he's gonna score a touchdown. Hit him right there, and uh, Myers just that, that backdoor screen. So they get the touchdown right back, and that was a that was a dagger right there, guys. That was a uh, touchdown. They every at, possession. Every possession. I think so. Oh, yeah. Roll the pocket over here to the left. The old school play, we used to see it go to the tight end a lot, Brett. Let's, you know, sneak out of the backside. Right. And um, it's as old as – a yep. high school play you can to, find, and this one actually to goes to the running back. Yep. Extra point up and good. Forty-one fifteen. Not only did they eat up all the clock, they uh, they cashed it in for a touchdown, and that probably did it. Forty-one fifteen. One play by Malcolm Simmons, really, and. All we've had here in the third quarter. That was a three and out too. Is that the only time we've had the football in the second in the third quarter? Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's I, I mean I, they I, just took it. Yeah. Right. The time of possession in the central clay game and this game is astonishing to me. Yeah. I I I really gonna sum it up that way. And I've been watching football a long time. And you know, 
when you, you're only keeping the ball 12 plays in a game, we've had one drive right there before halftime. Outside of that, we had the ball 12 plays. Was that an eight-minute drive there? Uh, Didn't we score with 10.30 10 to go? Yeah, we eight, did. eight, eight minutes up. Yeah, yeah. eight-minute drive for Homewood, exactly what the doctor ordered. And, and have not stopped them on offense. They have not punted the football tonight. <clears throat> Baby J into the end zone. This one will be, and that's a touchback. And, Wildcats will have it first and 10 to 20. So no offense really to speak of outside of one drive before half. Malcolm Simmons pulling it down on a on a punt and, and going 80 yards. The only offense we've had here in the third quarter. Third place, the juniors. Second place, varsity cheer. First place, give it up for the senior class. Shotgun formation, Gabe Benton, first down, pass complete out there on the far side, up to the 30, gonna be enough for a first down, it looks like. Gonna move the chains, complete. Out to David Lawson, yep. that same hitch pass. We've hit it a couple of times here in the ball game. He's made positive yards after the reception. And they're giving us all that that we want. Sure. They're eight, nine yards off. Eight, nine yards off down here at the bottom. We'll hand off to TJ up the middle, big hole, and rumbles up to around the 39-yard line. So picked up nine yards there. You're fighting the clock, too. And again, no shine, no sign so far, Randy, in this game of stopping them offensively. So it's a tremendous fight uphill. Big run by TJ, broke the tackle, dragging the tackler, drug him about seven, eight yards inside Homewood territory down to around the 46-yard line. So, T.J., strong running there up the middle. A lot of the first half, T.J. Wilson, number 11, really making a majority of the plays if we made any there in the first half and find this way here in the third. A couple of key first downs here in the third period. T.J. again, hand off and going to be cut down after a gain of about three inside the 45 down to around the 42-yard line. 139 to go here in the third quarter. Best high school band I've ever heard. Yeah. I know it's, I know I'm a broken record, but they're that good. Shotgun handoff over here, found a little hole. TJ dives across the 40, down to around the 39, 38 yard line. So third down coming up with a minute and 12 to go here in the third quarter. 41 to 15. Homewood scores on every possession to this point. Shotgun snap, hand off to TJ. TJ bamboos over a couple of guys down inside the 35, down to the 33. And he's got another first down compliments to UAB Cardiology Associates here in the SNS discount tire third quarter. Trips up there to the top, one down here to the bottom. Penalty flag. 42 seconds to go here in the third. Dead ball all sides by Homewood. So free five there will bring it down to first and five. Move it down to the 29 yard line, I believe. Actually, they're going to. I don't know what's going on. Man, I'm telling you. I, they're still talking about it. It's pretty cut and dried, isn't it? All sides, yeah. five yards? Yeah, it is. That's 15. I don't know who's counting. But uh, that one went way on down inside the 20. That one's put down at around the 16 to 17. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. But that's not what he called. He called offside. So 
40 seconds, man. 41-15, Gay, first down, looking to the end zone, under pressure, steps up and throw pass. He's got his Good touchdown, Good Malcolm pass. Simmons. That's a broken play, looking up to the top side of the field. I think we were going for a little backside post to Sedarian again in the back corner of the end zone. Couldn't find him up there, so Gabe rolls the pocket to the right. Malcolm has his defender fall down in the end zone, so he does a little comeback route can't, right here can't at the pylon. Can't cover the guy, man. And a perfectly thrown ball. I think that's his first reception of the ball game. That's right. First reception, a touchdown. First carry from, the, from scrimmage was a touchdown. Can't cover him. I mean, it's 41-21. It's a 20-point game. A little swinging gate play and dump it in. Nah, it's picked off and plays dead. But it's still a 20-point game at this point. 32 seconds to go here in the third. SNS discount tire, third quarter. And the Wildcats are still in this football game, believe it or not. Three scores. You know, defense has got to get a stop at some point. Yeah. So let's let's put it this way. The offense has scored on its last three possessions, dating back to the end of the first half. Yep. Now, I know it wasn't designed to score on no. the punt, but they scored. And then they take this drive and they go down and score. So, we'll have an onside kick here. You can go ahead and count on that. Trying to gain that possession back. You think it's a little early for that with 32 seconds no, to go I'm in the third? telling you by the well, may personnel we yep. got in there what's coming. I don't coach, and I don't. Yeah. It, and I can see that. It's three, three scores. Yeah. I tell you, Homewood has not seen it, no. not expecting it. They are discussing it now. We've been a little slow getting over there, but they don't have many people over oh, there. Oh, we, it, it's, we got it. Yeah, if we'll we got it. If we'll have kick a good it. kick, they're trying to call timeout. I think. We're all sides. Offside, offside. We got it. They didn't call it, though, man. They yeah, did. They did. Oh, yeah. yeah. And he wow. was. He's about he was. three yards offside. Yeah. Third offside penalty we've had on a kickoff tonight. And their coaching staff over there, they, they knew they weren't lined up right. And, I mean, he was way offside. <laughs> well, I they mean, were, it wasn't even up for debate. They were really slow getting any movement back in the secondary or excuse me, back on, on special teams to get over. I mean, it was very clear that they were going. They're still right. doing it now. We're going to have to go back. Uh, Wes, this is three offside penalties on kickoffs tonight. On kickoff. Right, are, are you going to try it again right here? Yes. Yeah, I would. Now they got everybody down here. We're all sides again. I'd scrap out one. I, I, I'm just going to go on out on a limb and say we need to kick it deep and, and roll the dice because you're going to keep backing up five. They call a timeout there to stop it. But we're all sides again. And well, we're trying to get a jump. I get it. I know we're trying to get down there to get the football. But um, at some point in time, you gotta you got to stay on sides till, till the guy kicks the football. And, 30 seconds to go here in the third quarter. The Wildcats trail 41 to 21. Here in the SNS discount tire third quarter. So Homewood scored on their possession and the Wildcats have scored twice here in this third quarter. Attempting an onside kick here trying to get another possession. And you can definitely understand the rationale behind it because yeah. your defense has not stopped them tonight. So you're not trying to get a possession back. Yeah. But you're going to have to do it from back here at the 35-yard line now. We know their field goal kicker's got a well of a leg. They got the hands team set up. Sure, they've, they've got it perfect now. So, looks like we're gonna try to go the other. I could kick it, kick it right, right down here. Right there. 
Yeah, they're yep. going to kick it down the field a little bit. It's going to roll. It's out of bounds. He touched it, though, so it's out at the 25. Yep. It was almost a perfect kick by Murphy. And we had a guy right there. If it bounces off of him, Randy, if he bobbles it at all, we got a chance to recover it. But they have it down there at the 24, I think, is where they're going to mark him out. With 30 seconds to go here in the third. Now it just comes down to can, can we get one stop here just to give ourselves a chance here in the fourth quarter coming up. Jai's played great. He has. Yeah, he, he's been the one bright spot that you can consistently go back to defensively. And uh, so I feel like they're going to run the football and it's going to take a couple of plays out of him back behind the line for us to have a chance to stop him. Shotgun. And off, man, got him in the backfield for no game. Lost two yards. Here's a score, guys, in the third quarter. Hewitt Trustful, 28, right Hoover zero. That's There's one for you. Wow. That one play behind the line. Again, Ja, I don't know how many tackles. He may have about all of them. Right. They've got a guy. running plays. And they've got a man down. Randy, I don't know if you heard what I just I said. Did. Hewitt Trustful, 28, Hoover zero in the third. Boy, it's gotten away from Hoover. Um, and when the, here's the issue up there. Those teams are so good. Like Vestavia, I want you to make sure that you know Vestavia beat this team 43 to nothing. Last year they beat them 40-something to nothing. Right. When you come back down to earth a little bit too far up there, you get beat by 40. Yeah. And that's right. where – that's unfortunately this year for Hoover fans, Hewitt Trussell's outstanding. Thompson's outstanding. Uh, they played Auburn. They actually only lost by, what, 10 to 14 points to Auburn. That was that one was more reasonable. Vestavia beat them by three touchdowns. Yeah. Central Clay, 31, Hanley, six. Oh. Uh, it's going to be a tough out for anybody with Central Clay in 5A. Yeah, they right just, now. They got the Bows and the Joes, and they coach them up real well. Second down and 13. Hey, look. Positive play right there for our defense. They'll probably let the clock run out if I'm Homewood. I'm letting that thing go to the four. You know, not in a hurry. And uh, we'll go to the SNS discount tire fourth quarter when we come back. One quarter left to play. It's a 20-point game. Homewood up 41-21. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. Gillsopalika.info. Get pre approved in minutes online at Gillsopalika.info. For a pre owned car, truck, or SUV from Gills Auto Sales, 1430 Gateway Drive in Opalika. Henderson Towing, Alexander City, 24 hour towing, jump starts, door unlocks, local and long distance towing, heavy duty towing. So let's get old Big Hoss to the rescue today. Here's that number. Now keep it handy. Henderson Towing, 256-392-4554. 256-392-4554. Henderson Towing, 24-hour towing, 256-392-4554. I'm used to living alone, taking care of myself, Mr. Independent. But every now and then, I need a little help. My kids aren't close, and I want to stay in my own home. As close as family is such a godsend. Caring professionals here to help me with all the little things. Taking care of the house and myself. Keeping me looking sharp. Feeling sharp, too. Learn more at AsClosestFamily.com. They really are as close as family. Hillaby Towers is an affordable senior citizens community located in Alexander City on Highway 22 East. Spacious one bedrooms are available now. Great location, peaceful setting, comfortable living where pets are allowed and utilities are included. Call today to find out more information on Alexander City's best kept secret, 256-329-0552. That's Hillaby Towers in Alexander City. Jackson Apothecary, located in New Side, Alabama, on Highway 22 East, is open Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30. And Brad Jackson says, hey, it's organized, it's clean, it's for you. Vitamins, medical supplies, household items, they even have a drive through Let me give you their number, 256-392-3448. That's 256-392-3448. Jackson Apothecary. 
We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the bankruptcy code. This is Marcia Mason, your local Lake Martin bankruptcy and Social Security disability attorney. Mason Law Firm is located at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Call 256-329-1313 to schedule your appointment today. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. If you're seeing the American cockroach, throw up the red flag. Ladybugs, throw up the red flag. Ants and swarming termites, throw up the red flag. And kudzu bugs, throw up the red flag. That's red flag pest control. So the caution is on. Call Red Flag Pest Control today. I'm Scott Davis with Red Flag Pest Control. Call me today, 256-825-0430. They say we live in an age of big data, where computers and fancy algorithms are supposed to know you best. But at Country Financial, we know helping you own your future requires, well, something much bigger. Contact your local Country Financial representative and start planning for your future with a personal touch. Are you suffering from neck pain, back pain, or sciatica, or do you just want to feel better overall? Dr. Andrew Curley at Curley Clinic of Chiropractic was born and raised in Elk City, provides different chiropractic techniques, and applies the therapies to suit your needs. Curley Clinic of Chiropractic is located at 748 Commerce Drive in Elk City. I'm Kenny Dean. I'm a patient, and I believe. For an appointment, call 256-392-4445. Picked up first down, there's a penalty flag and a little bit of extracurricular activity there. <clears throat> Gonna give them 15 more yards, I think. Central Clay defeats Hanley 31 to six. That's an impressive win. That's the fifth ranked team in class 4A and uh, Central Clay's up to what, number two, Brett? Uh, no, I think they're three. Uh, either three or four, yeah. Yeah, I think they're maybe <clears throat> number three and um, you know, Central Clay is, I think they, they were, were outside the, of the top ten to start the season. They They've were. run up to the yes. top five now and uh, looking down the 5A list, Brett, and seeing who they potentially <clears> got <throat> coming up maybe in the playoffs. I only see three or four teams that well, I feel that, like can play uh, with them this in 5A. Is exactly right. Ramsey being one of them. Yeah, I mean, Ramsey is the defending state champion, and Ramsey took on a Pleasant Grove team that's also in the top five in class right. 5A and beat them by, what, three touchdowns mm-hmm. last weekend. Right. So Gulf, physically, Gulf they'll Shores, match Gulf up. Gulf Shores, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> 41-21. And Homewood probably going to go to a knee here. Well, they'll have to run. We've got one timeout. We can only stop it one more time, so... <clears throat> Wow, Malcolm Simmons comes in on defense and literally comes off the end and makes a tackle. And I don't, mm, 153 to go. Got to get to the end of this one and try not to get anybody injured. Yeah, he, he's just hurt in the wrong yeah, spot. Yeah, right. that's right, right. <laughs> he's fine. 136 to go. Really shocked he's out there, to be honest. Yep. Well, I 41-21, 126 to go here in a game that's over. It was a snap handoff up the middle. That kid runs really hard. He really sure does. does. Listed as a buck 25 in the program. Five foot five, a buck 25. He's a junior. But – Gosh, he runs hard and he can run. You you just have this sense that if he gets into the secondary, he's going to take it to the house. Wadley 32, Raglan 6. It's I don't be think like anybody every, wants Wadley in one of That's going to be like it every week. Mm. You know, and it's Six, not just a running back. No. They're not giving up points. They're not giving up any points. Yeah. 40 seconds to go, third down and three for Homewood here. Man, 
Man, he gets stuck. He didn't get it. But 27 seconds to go. I think we'll let that one keep rolling, and uh, that'll probably be the last play of the game. Yep. Yep. We'll let it kick, click on down, and uh, Wildcats going to fall 41 21 here to the Homewood Patriots. And we'll take a break. When we come back, it will be the Vice Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram post game show. You're listening to the Wildcat Football Network. Forbes Auto Sales Highway 280 in Kellerton, Alabama is home owned and home operated. If you're looking for tires, they have it. If you're looking for a vehicle, they have them. Great selection. Always out looking for more just for you, the customer. And if you're looking for service, whether you buy the vehicle from them or whether you buy the vehicle somewhere else, they do service work and got a great crew there. Keep this in mind. Why don't you go by Forbes Auto Sales on Highway 280 in Kellerton today. Hello, this is Scotty Gordon at Cornerstone Insurance. Are you tired of paying too much for your home and auto insurance? If so, give us the opportunity to help you. At Cornerstone, we have three goals for all of our clients. Asset protection, affordable pricing, and superior customer service. Come by and give us a call today to see what we can save you. 153 Alabama Street, 256-409-2299. Arise is public transportation from downtown Alexander City. Now, from downtown Alexander City, they cover a 20-mile radius. Those vans are all over the place. When was the last time you went to see that friend? When was the last time you really needed to go to the doctor, but you didn't have a, a ride? Well, now you got one. It's Arise. Remember this. It's public transportation. Their number to call is 256 329 84 44. Castelluccio Fine Italian Dining in downtown Alexander City is rapidly becoming the region's standard for Italian cuisine as well as hand-cut filet mignon, fresh gulf seafood, and the area's best Italian import wine selection. We offer true old-world charm with unmatched hospitality. Like Castelluccio Fine Dining on Facebook to keep up with daily lunch and dinner specials. Also new, we offer catering for your family and small business, so call and order. Castelluccio, downtown Alexander City, where the only thing that rivals the flavor is the dining experience. Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union, is looking for the next hometown hero. Hometown heroes can be first responders, public service workers, community leaders, pastors, community volunteers, or anyone who is making a difference in your hometown. Submit your nominations now online at myhscu.com. And if your nominee is selected, they will get a $100 Visa cash card and a certificate of appreciation from Heritage South Credit Union, your community credit union. Federally insured by the NCUA. J.A. Smith Construction is your trusted choice for construction site clearing and grading for new home construction, underground utilities and site work, concrete paving, storm drain installation, fish ponds, and slough dredging. No job is too big or too small. Call Alexander at J.A. Smith Construction at 256-896-1400 or email asmith at jasmithconstruct.com. J.A. Smith Construction, your trusted choice for construction. At Russell Medical, we're proud of our exceptional nurses, like Nurse Brandy Worthy. Brandy represents the selfless, compassionate clinical leader patients expect and co-workers admire. Brandy was recently honored with the Nightingale Award for nursing excellence for her high standards, sound judgment, and caring manner. Her passion for her profession inspires us all. Being a nurse is not just what you do, it's who you are. I'm proud to be a part of the nursing team at Russell Medical. We are the link between all hospital services, providing you with exceptional, personalized care. Lay your best to rest. Call the best. Lewis Pest Control. Lewis Pest Control is now serving Alexander City and the entire Lake Martin area. They've been family owned and operated for over 60 years. Whether it's residential, commercial, or industrial, Lewis has environmentally safe products for all your pest control needs. Lewis Pest Control. Lay your best. $500 over invoice now at Tony Sarah Ford. 
every new Ford on the lot. $500 over invoice when you trade in finance with Tony Sarah Ford. Plus 3.9% financing for 72 months. Save thousands on new F-150s and more. All backed by Sarah's lifetime warranty. No charge. Every new Ford. $500 over invoice at Tony Sarah Ford. In Silicaga, TonySarahFord.com. Welcome back, everyone, to the welcome back, everyone, to the Bice Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Post Game Show for the best selection, service, and price. Buy it at Bice. And uh, guys, uh, not a, not a good one tonight. Forty-one twenty-one Wildcats fall here on homecoming, and uh, got to go back to the drawing board uh, again. This the two losses we have, guys. We have gotten started and dug ourselves a tremendous hole. Not didn't dig a, as big a hole against Clay Central as we did here tonight and uh, you can't you can't play a half football but let's let's be honest about it um, you know Malcolm Simmons touched the football there on that punt and scored He's, he caught a touchdown pass to Darren Morgan caught a touchdown pass but you know Malcolm Simmons is the guy probably every Friday night against no matter who you play in and I think we've said it. Coach Grider's even said it. You know, to me in the locker room, he said, you know, that guy's got to touch the ball 12, 15 times a game. He just told me in the locker room before this game, he said, Malcolm Simmons got to touch the ball 12 to 15 times a game to 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 give ourselves a legit chance. And what he touch it, three or four? Well, his first touch of the football game was a fake punt in the second half. Outside of kickoff. And the thing is, yeah. he scored That's almost every though. time he touched it. Right. Yeah. Right. So he had two touchdowns tonight. One was a fake punt. I don't think it was a called fake punt. I think that it was a bad snap, and he just saw that he had some open green grass in front of him, and he made about 50 cuts and uh, made some great plays and got it into the end zone. And then he had another touchdown reception where he had a little comeback pattern after a rollout to the right, and um, that was the first two touches of the football game offensively that he had. And uh, so that is – uh, tough, and you're going to have to find a way with an athlete like that to scheme up ways to get the football to him. But, you know, football is also a fun sport in that you can have tremendous athletes and the mm. lines of scrimmage win or lose you football games. And uh, you don't have to be the biggest lines of scrimmage. We were talking to Scott Blake during halftime, and uh, he had one of the best offensive lines his son was on with Michael that we've had here, and I don't think yeah. they had very much size at all, but they – could block and get after it and play physical football, and we had a lot of good years. And uh, so, you know, got to go back to the drawing board and find a way to be competitive on the lines of scrimmage because right now Homewood won that football game just by blowing us off the football on the lines of scrimmage. Yeah. Let's get down to business here. The Dark Insurance Wildcat play of the game. Don't be in the dark about your insurance needs. Call on Dark Insurance today. It's a no-brainer. Malcolm Simmons, the 80-yard the punt, you know, really when we needed a spark, needed somebody to do something, Malcolm just took it upon himself, and he bobbed and weaved downfield. And, you know, most people would have been tackled 14 times on that, and he refused to go down and ended up getting into the end zone. We saw him do a punt return against Kalir the same way, and <clears throat> he just special, you know. Uh, every time he touches the football, you you sit on the edge of your seat, expect him to, to score, and uh, – uh, you know, he had another touchdown pass here tonight as well. So, another two more touchdowns for Malcolm Simmons on the year. His stats are continuing to be unreal. And, uh, you know, he's a four, high four-star prospect for a reason. So, congratulations to Malcolm Simmons on the uh, Wildcat play of the game brought to you by Dark Insurance. The Jay Smith Construction player of the game, Lake Martin's full construction and excavating company where no job is too big or too small. And, uh, Randy, we had a couple of them, and uh, the one on defense is a no-brainer. Well, Jai Hicks had a, a tremendous game. I don't know how many tackles he had, but it was way more than he deserved to have to make out there tonight. If we had, if they had 65 plays offensively, I'm going to say he had somewhere between 20 and 25 tackles, a lot of them solos. They came into the football game with our, as our leading tackler with 25 on the season. That's averaging nine per game, and um, – left it probably with closer to 50 tackles on the season. He was outstanding out there. I hope he's okay. Missed a lot of plays in the last portion of the football game after he was just straight wore out. And if you're going to wear Jai Hicks out, you've had a tough outing yeah. uh, because he played well, a lot, a lot of snaps here at football with Benjamin Russell. Well, up until the last – that last possession for Homewood, we ain't stopped them all night. They'd scored yeah. on every possession. And we finally got a stop with 450 to go in the game. And uh, – <clears throat> You're not going to beat many teams when, when they're 
pretty much batting a thousand going in late into the fourth quarter on scoring drive. So, but congratulations, Jai Hicks, on a valiant effort. You know, upwards, like you said, of 20 maybe plus tackles in this football game. I mean, just a valiant effort. And our kids didn't quit. I mean, this is not no, an effort not thing. Our, our guys kept fighting, trying to make plays, tried to get down here and cut it to two scores here with about three minutes to go to give yourself a chance. And uh, you just cannot take two quarters off, though, that's offensively. Insane. Yeah, it's amazing. Their band is awesome. So, but guys, that's going to wrap it up here. A uh, reminder that uh, the HSA Radio Network scoreboard show coming your way. Uh, at 10 o'clock tonight, scores throughout the state of Alabama. Some interesting scores, some schools around the state, man, that are in uncharted waters right now that uh, haven't experienced some of the things they're going through. And uh, J.J. and Luke will have all those scores as we uh, come down the stretch. 10 to midnight. That's going to wrap it up here on the Bice Chrysler Dodge Jeep Round uh, postgame show. Again, your final score, Homewood 41, Wildcats 21. Next week on the road against Smith Station, we'll be back on the air, 6.30 airtime, kickoff at 7 here uh, on the Wildcat Football Network. For Wes Coleman and Randy Lee, I'm Brett Pritchard saying we've enjoyed it. We hope you have. See you next time. Hi, this is Brian Bice with Bice Motors. With our all-star lineup of Dodge trucks, Jeep, SUVs, and Chrysler cars, we offer the area a team dedicated to making your next vehicle purchase a positive experience. Our sales team offers competitive pricing, and we back up all sales with service department second to none. Bice Motors also offers the area's best selection of pre-owned vehicles. Visit Bice Motors at 2133 Cherokee Road in Alexander City. If you're seeing the American cockroach, throw up the red flag. Ladybugs, throw up the red flag. Ants and swarming termites, throw up the red flag. And kudzu bugs, throw up the red flag. That's red flag pest control. So the caution is on. Call red flag pest control today. I'm Scott Davis with red flag pest control. Call me today, 256-825-0430. So you want to build a home. Build the home you want with America's Home Place. Choose from over 150 floor plans, then personalize. Tile backsplash with granite countertops, done. A spacious bathroom you've always dreamed of, you got it. Choose every detail, floors, cabinets, even the paint color. How about electric lime? Can't decide? Relax. At America's Home Place, we take care of it all. It's your home. Own it. America's Home Place. Passion, the obsession that burns within. Determination, the burning desire to make it. Drive, the motivation to be the absolute best. Skills, the tools to perform at the highest level. Excellence, the feeling of achievement. At Central Alabama Community College, you can release your passion, show your determination, display your drive, and showcase your skills to achieve excellence. Central Alabama Community College, central to you, central to your success. Hi, this is Andrew McGreer at Dunning Roofing. At Dunning Roofing, we specialize in high-quality, premium roofs. We don't build roofs that just meet code requirements. We build quality roofs with premium materials that significantly exceed our competitors' warranties. We put money on your roof, not in our pockets. If you're looking for a top-quality roof, call Dunning Roofing today for your free quote at 256-307-7601 or visit us at dunningroofingal.com for more information. Grace's Flowers on Hillaby Street in Alexander City is all fall festive. And you'll fall in love with the girls at Grace's beautiful fall decor with artificial and live plants. Yellow, brown, tan, and gold colors that will brighten your home or business. Keep Grace's number 256-234-4238 handy for sending flowers or an arrangement to that special person. That's 256 234 4238 for Graces. We'll see you real soon. Welcome to Alex City Food Shop, your locally owned and operated shell station located at Highway 280 and Airport Drive. Fill up with Shell V Power Nitro Plus Premium Gasoline and get the best total engine protection you can get, period. Stop by anytime, day or night, open 24 7, and check out the great specials on all your favorite convenience store items. Keep that car clean with a touch free car wash where your six wash is always free. Also, be sure to use your FRN and Winn Dixie reward card and save on all of your gasoline purchases. Benton Clearing and Grading is Cody and LD Benton. 
they get your job in sight. Moving dirt is a clean job to them. Clearing a lot for your home or business is what they do, and they do it right. Call LD or Cody today at 256-397-2531 or 397-2532 for a quote today. I promise you, they'll do the job right. That's Benton Clearing and Great. Opelika Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep Ram at 801 Columbus Parkway in Opelika has a massive inventory of quality pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. Every make, every model. Quality pre-owned vehicles are available at Opelika Ford, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep Ram. Located at 801 Columbus Parkway in Opelika and online at opelikafordchrysler.com. 